Mike, Mike. It's my mood, it's my vibe tonight. These niggas got me on some nighttime recording shit. <laughs> this was your idea. Uh, some of us have, have been trying to get a job. <laughs> I've had meetings. I've been linking. Don't interrupt the legend, Michael McDonald. Oh, yes. Oh, this is one. This Fark's type shit. He's trying not to nod. Don't try to not nod because no one else is nodding. They don't play this in the Bronx. Maul wouldn't know it. I don't know why Rory acting like he don't know this. I love Michael He's 23. No, don't do that to Rory. Rory knows this. I do. Rory knows a little bit about some black people. He got his black people playlist that he put on, and it works. It worked on me. <laughs> wow. It made us friends. We bonded black through the music. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> to Mike right. McDonald, too. Yeah, we bond. Who do we bond through? Yo, me and Rory are kind of trash if we really think about how this relationship started. Uh, nah, for real, though. Let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right, Mike, hold up. Slow down, because last week I ain't even hit these niggas with the new Joe Budden drop. All these niggas got was a bum-ass new Rory and whatever. Man, where's my shit? No, no job, no job. I see you niggas went and added Rory and Maul to the little artwork in red too. I didn't see that before. You niggas <laughs> making little subtle changes. Joe, Joe, that has been on the artwork since oh, we changed nah. the artwork for two Yo, why years. Why are you always trying to get me and Rory out of here, my nigga? Do you know that we the hottest niggas on this podcast? I don't know if you. Let me get into my bag real quick. Let's talk, talk about <laughs> it, Maul. Talk you know about saying? it. Do you know that me and Rory is hot, my nigga? Do you know that? That's why it's in red because we hot, nigga. Nah, no gunshots on my shit. Oh, okay. That was just a little deuce deuce. That's too loud. No, Rory and Ma. There you go. <laughs> I don't know that y'all are hot. I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> How do I know that you and fucking Rory just are Rory's unemployed like me? Just because we didn't get a TRL invite today mm. doesn't mean we're not out here. Now, wait a minute. You got invited to TRL. You went, to, you went to the new nigga. lukewarm TRL. <laughs> you went to TRL? That's the most painful show oh, in the world. Man, you, I watched this shit yo, for 30 man, seconds bringing our stock down uh, with this bullshit, Can we man. cut everyone's mic off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what bro. the hell? <laughs> no, I was not at TRL. Yes, you was. Where were you? We saw the pictures. I was. <clears throat> no, I had a meeting. Okay. Were you not, at like the tour shit in Times Square at, where you could get your picture taken in front of TRL? <laughs> he was holding a sign. I was, I was with, by, that, with the sign. guy. I was by the naked cowboy. <laughs> you are the naked cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Barefoot right now. Nigga, you want to take your no, jeans off so I bad in here. Nigga. But you know niggas will knock you the fuck out if you take your pants off. I don't know that nigga. neither. Let's be clear. I don't know nobody. Yo, I don't know that. You get I don't knocked, know that. If you try to I take don't them jeans that. off of here, you getting put to sleep. I'm nigga. never. What the fuck you talk about, nigga? Hey, first of all, I'm not ever trying to take my jeans off. <laughs> I know. Nigga. That's, That's true. number one. Number two, let's let's rewind back to 2011. It took about nine niggas to get me in that pool at the pool party. Let's be let's relax. That's true. I think that was, that was fear. That was that fear. No, you thought you was going to drown. Nah, y'all know skinny niggas. <laughs> we wasn't going to let you drown, Joe. Skinny niggas. Let me tell you something. Skinny niggas have that extra level of strength they can go to like women do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like women have that. If you make them angry enough, they're stronger than all of us. Mm-hmm. I mean, I agree, but I don't like that metaphor at all. I mean, it's true. But anyway, Maul, now that you mention it, you might be kind of hot out here. Why you say that? Well, I'm not in the jewelry. Mm-hmm. But you got a lot going on today, man. <laughs> oh. has, has anybody noticed this? <laughs> here we wait, go. Wait. <laughs> here we uh, go. Turn my ear horn up, my nigga. Here we go. No, 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 no. No, Wait, Maul took can, a, a few hosting gigs with us. Can we talk Wait, about? Wait, Maul got to go fund me. Do we have sleepers? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, wait though. No, I that's a keep... big yeah, you chain, my nigga. On. I'm about to rob this nigga. <laughs> that's gonna rob me, man. Yes. Oh, that's Hell crazy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nigga said quit. <laughs> yes, man, nigga. He was saying that like I would not. That's Damn, that's baby. a nice looking. Is that real? Co- don't ever play me like that. Don't can we that. pause? Wow. Can we see the whole thing? But oh, wait, no, that's not what it's wait. about. Real niggas don't do that. But wait, and that's true because if I had a chain like that, I would I would tuck it too. Yeah. But um. What did you what did you just say? No, why you say oh, don't try to play you? All the rappers weird. Like I'm not a rapper. Jewelry. I'm not a rapper. But I'm saying it it is a trend. No, yeah, but I'm not. Come on, man. I wouldn't do that. You know the you know the cloth I'm from, nigga. I ain't wearing nothing fake. That's a nice chain. Thank a nice you. Chain. Can I borrow that? And it's wide. Sure. Pause. <laughs> Thank you. I think I know how much something like that costs. <laughs> <laughs> well, niggas you know, know. Yo, niggas always start calculating. Like, <laughs> why you don't do that, man? That's you the my point man, of jewelry. Do hey, listen. Does anybody else in here kind of know what that type of stuff yeah. costs? Yeah, it's not cheap. 
Y'all niggas is crazy. That's the big lock in the back. Go ahead, get, yeah. get your shit off. Go ahead, my nigga. Go ahead. Oh, neck, wait, y'all don't see him now. not even green. Oh, wait. That shit is crazy. Wait, he got the big chain on Tuck, but the very small, angelic Jesus chain. Yeah, that's Icy right. on the... Ooh, yeah. with his initials on. Yo, you, you are trash, my nigga. <laughs> Ain't no initials are on my chain, Are you wearing your nigga? fucking initials no, on that? No, nigga. What are you talking about? That's what not my that? initials. Oh, that's a ring. No, nigga. <laughs> it's an emblem. It's a fear. No fear. And, and this nigga don't even have fear? That's crazy. <laughs> Wait, nah. Now, this is getting crazy, man. Hit the air on it. <laughs> I wish other niggas found Maul as funny as me. All right, that's number one. But Maul, let's, let's get a few things out the way. All right. Uh, you follow a page on Instagram called Beyond Meat. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying pause. I'm trying the vegetarian thing, man. So I got I got to come up with ideas of like different things. And shit. What's on beyond the beyond oh, meat page, pause. bro? That, first of all, pause the name. Yo, but that's, that's just like no, it's, it's no, veg- no, 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 go ahead, no, go ahead. no. I'm gonna let no. you go ahead. Get, get your shit no, off. What do you mean? You followed beyond meat, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. You can't ever pause nothing. And then I, I said, went. Pause the name. Wait, so then today, no, no, you can't pause beyond meat. You can pause the name, yeah. Fam, I went to the page today mm-hmm. to see what it was. Pause for go to the page. <laughs> <laughs> you, I said pause crazy. before I went. You, du- you double tap. Yo, I say pause. He say you yeah. just can't pause <laughs> because y'all are kids. Uh, but no. yeah, I'm a grown ass nigga. <laughs> we, we the same age. Okay. You was at oh. TRL today. What you mean you grown? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck you this talking? Nigga's Forty four at TRL. <laughs> told my number seven on the countdown. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Nigga, they gonna give me that bag. I'm gonna be right next to DC. <laughs> All right, y'all. At number four. <laughs> Culture two was announced. <laughs> oh, Back to you, Beth. <laughs> the fuck is y'all? I can't wait Beth. to sell out. I Beth. cannot wait to cross over. I don't know what you niggas do. You keep being faithful to these niggas. Nah, nah. I, 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 nigga, I'm you know, out. I'm not. I, I am I'm the out. Sellout. I can't wait to sell out. I always say yeah, that. Yeah, nigga, I am out of here. But, uh... You threw me off of my joke with your TRL <laughs> bullshit. What go am I trying to get me. into? Go ahead. Oh, click, you click Beyond Meat. So I go to the page, and they got a fucking picture of a long-ass hot dog talking about Beyond Sausage. I'm like, all right, Maul. All right, Maul. What, what you doing here, my G? What's, what's his name? Honestly. It's, what's, it's, what's his name underneath it's it? A, it's a vegetarian page, man, so it gives you ideas. With mad it. meat on it? No, it's not It's not actual meat, though, but it's, it's, it's showing you how you can, you can still eat things that are like eating beef or... Chicken, so you like turkey. looking for meat substitutes? Pause. I'm trying. <laughs> food, I'm, trying on, vegeta- I'm trying to I'm trying to do the vegetarian thing, bro. Maul is the. And by the way, Maul's the only nigga that has been dieting since I've known him, and it has stayed the same weight. No, I haven't. He is not. You're the same weight. I lost weight. What are you talking about? What do you weigh? I don't even know, but I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> Maul used to be skinnier, I think. Yeah. And I and I gained weight and lost weight. Oh, you got stretch marks. You trash. I don't have, I don't have no stretch marks. You have to have stretch marks. I was marks. never that big to have stretch marks. Oh, ew, you trash to have stretch, stretch marks. marks? I, got, <laughs> I got stretch marks. It's fucking crazy. That's crazy. But listen, off of Beyond Me and well, no, off of your stretch marks. All do right, you think you'll right. eventually have like a percentage code? Like use Maul for 20% off Beyond Meat Fuck IG no. page? Hell no. I just followed it for different like rest, like ideas of foods to eat. Because it's hard, man. It's not a lot of vegetarian like... Dishes that you can eat from like restaurants. I never understood being a vegetarian and then eating fake meat that like looks like a cheese. But it's yeah. not fake meat though. It's yeah, like... we got way too much to talk about. <laughs> beyond meat. Y'all for came this up. Mall. Y'all, y'all yeah, wanted you to. Started this. Yo, why do y'all? Because I want to get all my mall shit out of the way. Okay, okay. but hold on. Let me ask you. Why do y'all niggas watch my IG account so closely? <laughs> I don't. I don't even follow you on Instagram. You do follow me on Instagram. Oh, all right. What are you talking about? Oh, save on. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about. Hey, write that down somewhere. Uh, no, nah, people always send me the stupid shit you do. Like my next question for you: How many times in our relationship do you think I've seen you smile? What do you mean, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> right now, nigga. Fuck you talking about? All right, so one, right? One. You not really like the smiler, dude. Like the smile. Yeah, I smile, but you mean like I taking really pictures? S- just period. I don't. Do you smile often, but then it's I, nigga. It's I'm all always pit. I'm always cracking jokes, laughing. I, I laugh all the time. I smile not, all the time. Not with your tongue out your mouth though. What? Whoa. No. Pause too. Uh, no. Not with my tongue. Was more, but in that picture was. 
Oh yeah, I do have that picture. R- oh, so Rory, Rory, Rory is the mole. Okay. Yeah, you know, you be thinking <laughs> not it's me, my nigga. All right, it's not me. I, I don't follow. I don't I, know what's going on. I got on. some suggestive of pics of Rory and videos of Rory coming. Whoa. In. Don't you? Don't you guys worry. Oh, I, any nigga that's branded has suggestive video. <laughs> <laughs> Rory's definitely got some floating around. First of all, frat. I had like, nothing to do with this Beyond yeah. Meats conversation. He had to be initiated. I yeah, do. Yeah, I had a mole. Some. This picture pause ended up in my inbox of more on keeping up with the Kardashians. And I just wanted to address this because as his friend, I've never seen you this happy in my entire life. Nah, no below. Oh, it was a, it was a toast though. You the mad happy for the toast. No, we would say, hey, like 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 happy birthday. Hey, like that's just where they caught the screenshot. You, you've never at, said A for any of us. And you've I never have? toasted to any of us either. Yes, we have. I toasted at your at your birthday. We was at by the pool, nigga. What you One day about? I'm gonna tell more all the bars that are about him <laughs> in my discography. I don't think we've he's toasted to me. That's a happen. <laughs> we at or we was around you. Everybody here was at your pool toasting to you. What are you talking about? That's when? true. For your last birthday. Oh come on, that's cause Cindy that. Y'all wasn't really trying to toast to me. Yes, actually. Yo, that's <laughs> a good point. This is the type of nigga to get mad at it snowing and we going outside having fun in the snow. Like, nigga, what's wrong All with right, you? I'm, I'm done with you. On to what? On to what? Oh, wait. Episode number. This is the Joe. Welcome to the Joe Button Podcast. Episode number 146, I'm assuming. I guess. No, 145, I think. No, we are not at 144. Don't, we're not 145. 145. Yeah, I like 145. 45? Yeah, like 45. 45? All right. Savon's 145. All right, episode one for C. Yeah, that's dope that we still don't know the number. Yeah, I ain't yeah. like that when we just knew the number yeah. right away before. Uh, episode 145 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Budden. Rory's here, Maul's here, Park's here, Chris Brown's here, Savon is here, Ice is here, and that's the gang. Ice Now, Ice is here because Ice invited himself. I wanted to talk behind his back because <laughs> nah, he that. was at the crib. And you know how you just randomly, like, see a nigga's phone? I just glanced. I happened to gander in the direction of <laughs> ISIS phone. Gan- gander. gander. Now, mind you, I don't know what word. niggas be having on their home screen, but ICE had like some wild shit on his home screen, and I wanted to come talk to y'all about it. Mm-hmm. But then he changed it, I think. So now I don't know what to do. Why did you change your home screen? Well, it a while well, what back. was it? There, were there was there emojis on the old one? Yeah. <laughs> and were they pink? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's not crazy to nobody. Yeah, I mean, funny. yeah, it's kind of crazy. I don't want to see ice. Would you, would you care phone. to explain your background? That's not crazy to even you. <laughs> nah. Like, at what point do niggas start to admit the crazy shit? See, now I'm glad Ice is here because I'm a simp like you, nigga. I, I'm quick. To, I throw my baby on the home screen before they ask too. That get you points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What get you mad? Get you credit? Oh, get you, you, credit. Had your, you had your girl on the home you, screen, but yeah. I didn't. But that's gonna lead to another question. <laughs> <laughs> so you have I, I a girl. See where this is going? No, but I want it. I want you to answer Rory's question from the other day that you escaped, and that was the important question. At what moment did you decide? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yo, I forgot my own question. Yo, she is really cool, and I'm into her. You know what? God damn it! I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm putting her on a home screen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm so real with it. When they ask, hey, set both. Yes. Oh no, it's both. I said both. It's nigga. both. Yeah. It's both. You got, man. Yeah, home, screen, home screen, lock screen. Yeah, oh, you gotta do that. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing? Like this is what's going on? Like this is a known Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. Okay. You got your girl in your home and lock screen? I do not. Okay. <laughs> you got your you got I have, I have yeah. Sin <clears throat> I got my, Rory. my he got Sin Rory? blown up. Nah, my shit has never had a girl on my as my background ever. Okay, so mm. You know, you know. Rory, Rory just started letting people know he has a girl. I, I was getting ready to get into <laughs> that. That's why. You wouldn't do that now? My girl? On my home I know screen? That's, that's preposterous, too. <laughs> but all of it is preposterous. <laughs> I think nah, my home I'm screen not. is still the same shit I had from like my first iPhone. It just carried over mad times. So. I just I just think that when that type shit happens, you should like tell your group chat at least. Like, <laughs> like that, that he got. Hey guys. Yo, yo, hey, my nigga. Shorty's on my home screen. There's pink emojis on my phone. Okay, so yo, more no, no, no is, one be alarmed if you happen you, to see my is, phone. Is it you that make the decision to do that, or is it like a conversation that you and your girl have? Nah, I do it. I do it. Yeah, I, I did that. That wasn't. We can't have a conversation about it. Nah. Right, well, how long you got to be together before you do that? That's what I'm saying. What What do they do that uh, makes you want to? Tricky right, question. Now's here. the time. Because that can be that can be a little to certain females that becomes a little scary. Like if she just looked <laughs> down and you didn't have that talk with her, and her face is on your phone. I would only assume that that would kind of throw. Well, you everything that we're talking about is in the, under the pretense of her liking you, right? 
right. because we're aware that uh, when they like you and when they don't, <clears throat> that the interpretation is different. Right. right. So, yeah, she has to like you. But it's like stock. I mean, the earlier, if you get in early, <laughs> <laughs> before you really know if the relationship is going gonna, is gonna to flourish, and you're it setting, does. You're setting the tone. Woo! You hit that one out the park. Okay. If you get in late, now you just kind of look corny because you didn't get the credit for being early and believing in a relationship mm. and you got your girl on your phone which is trash okay mm. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to be in a relationship with a girl that puts that much credit to her being the background of my phone it, it's yeah. not for her though no it's not for her they got nothing to do with her oh okay so you got, your girl, with you got your girl on your phone for you yeah you don't want to I'm, cool. I'm cool with that would have I open a phone what happens her? when like you're mad at her or maybe you're a little tired of you know Maybe you spent too much time together or something like that. Oh, by that point, you broke your phone already. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Are you so, like, you all the way locked in with Shorty. Your yeah, your mall is amazed. I just, I just <laughs> where do you two? A mall is really amazed by people being in love. No, I'm not amazed by that. I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just asking him because if he's doing that, I would assume that if it's not something that she asked or that's you, the ever we in. I would assume because she's on the home screen that you're taking this thing seriously. Yeah. All right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Why, nigga? I pressed the regular, button. No, no, no. That's, since Ice, yeah, that's since Ice, Ice nigga, hopped that's... over my other question, I want to know why none of us have met her or you haven't brought her around. Mm-hmm. You was at Joe's crib on what day was that? Mm-hmm. When I stopped by real quick. Saturday? Everybody was there on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Why ain't you bring her through? She didn't get to see the baby, say what's up to Sin. So wait. Let Sin feel her so, out. So y'all never... I know. I've, have I met your girl? No. no. That's crazy. I don't see y'all that often, though. This you is a story Joe every that weekend. will go down in the love and week. hip-hop history books. But what is the truth? Mm, what mm. is a lie? Damn. That's a good question. <laughs> Damn, my nigga. What's up, my nigga? What's up? Why we ain't what, meet What is the truth and what is a lie? Why we ain't meet your girl? We could have done this behind it? your back, man. You're not even talking. Y'all are yeah, being Y'all are Yeah, nigga, shut up. You start asking about his queen, right? No, nah, oh, y'all let me know. All right, so we get off you. Let's get into some things that this podcast has accurately predicted, unfortunately, because I was really hoping to be wrong about this disease thing. Uh, yeah, listen, it's word. In journalism, it's called <laughs> <laughs> breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but one of the stories, the chick was, I don't know, one of the stories that came out, she didn't, I don't, I don't think that that was, and I th- I've seen a lot of women saying that they didn't think that shorty had a case they, that that was sounding like she was just talking a bunch of bullshit i will say that <clears throat> you know not not to sound insensitive and i'm getting off this but it, when you i was reading the text i guess we're so i'm conditioned now to have our have my antennas up so when i read the text it was like damn my if i received that text i would feel like i was being set up mm-hmm. that it just read you can always tell when text just read different yeah. You can always tell when back in the day when somebody was listening on three way. Like you, you can just tell. You can search. definitely tell when a chick is texting you and plans on screenshotting that shit. Yeah, it down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yo. Like when, is, when chick starts, you know I mean? she starts saying shit like "heard you." I'm like, hold yeah, up, come you're on, not gonna heard you me. Word. Like, see, that's that's what y'all fuck missing. out of here. That's that's when you voice note them to death. Voice note disappear. Not if they keep it. Yeah. Well, you keep it. The voice. What it happens says when you right, keep it? Says right there. Yeah, but it's you can't. Kept. You can't put a. Where's can you put a, a voice note on that on Twitter? Like the way you could put a screenshot, you might be a little safer. Mm. She could probably play it for. She people. could put a voice note in the, in the group chat, right? Probably. Can you send? I don't it, know. Uh, can I send you a, a voice note and you can send it to somebody else? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think on the mm. update they'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I, I think Apple's I, listening right now. You don't feel trash <laughs> sending a voice note. But it's some shit you don't want screenshot. Well, you it's have. nothing worse than sending a voice note, really getting into your bag in an argument, and then your, your thumb slip and you stop recording. <laughs> and you like, fuck, I ain't even get that. <laughs> I ain't even get that ball off. Like, damn. Yo, the only time I ever use the voice note thing is when I'm fucking uh, texting, uh, sending it to the group chat so y'all can hear how I'm laughing at y'all idiots. Yeah, I don't. I never actually I know I turned it on message. and like spoke. I don't well, respond no, when people send me those. I'm like. I don't, why did you text me? Well, where words? the the voice note button is is just set up for the wet up because you can have that shit in your pocket and then you realize you just sent a minute voice note to somebody. Oh, I'm the king <laughs> of sending you two minute voice notes that were in my pocket. Uh, but anyway, we got too much shit to talk about. We were talking about disease, man. And don't worry, more. Well, I like word the on the street. <laughs> There's a few more stories coming on. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's why I can't even. <laughs> you you got to be careful who you are quick to defend. I, I'm not defending them. I'm just saying that that one particular case I saw with the the, the 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 I forgot what the woman's name was, but 
I've seen a lot of women saying like, yo, Shorty had opportune time to leave and this, that, and the third. Like, that wasn't abuse. That's what a lot of women were uh, like saying. Like, that, that wasn't abuse. Yeah, I've it's seen the same thing. Specific to that, this case and this case only. And it also wasn't a situation where she worked for him or around yeah. him where if she left, that would jeopardize her career. Right. That there was time for her to leave. And then when she went back and continued on with the sexual act after she stated that Aziz was like, if you're uncomfortable, right. we don't have to do this. Right. So <clears throat> I, I think those type of cases kind of take away from the women that are actually being abused, to be quite honest. Yeah. yeah. But that's why a lot of women don't... That's the problem. Why a lot of women don't come forward because they, they feel like when women are caught lying, that means all women are lying. Exactly. You know what I mean? So... And and this was perfect for everyone to go. I told you so on the on the male side, right. which is a bit unfortunate. But we have failed at covering this topic in the past six months, so we should maybe move on. You're absolutely right, Rory. <clears throat> Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is Seal doing? <laughs> and why is that so funny already? What the fuck is Seal doing? <laughs> why is that funny? <laughs> Apparently, if she don't want the kiss. A rose matters none <laughs> at all. No way. Yo, how could you make this beautiful song and be a predator? What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? You can't sing about the sea. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, that this it's this this era that we in it exposes so much about. You can't people. even hit that. Look, see here that note he just hit. No. <laughs> That is a predator note. <laughs> if you hit that note, nigga, what are you doing hitting that note? <laughs> he about to kill this shit right here, though. <laughs> hey! Yo, speaking of these... Oh, well, let's talk about <laughs> Seal, though. What's up with Seal? Seal is ugly enough to be a predator. Yeah. <laughs> but he looks like he of, could play predator. He got a lot of money. Seal got a lot of money. That song... Still got a lot you of couldn't money. escape that song, bro. Not at all. That shit was on every fucking that was, second. Yo, that that song killed uh, now volume nineteen. <laughs> shit, I've been on nineteen through twenty seven. <laughs> yo, Rory definitely bought now. <laughs> <laughs> Buying a now CD is fucking crazy. Kevin Lounge put fucking pump it up on a now before that my was album probably, came that out. was probably your biggest well, check before too. My, before he put out, he put. Let me tell you how much of a piece of shit. I hate Def Jam. Kevin Lowndes put Pump It Up on Now Volume 42 before my debut album. And then the week before my debut album, put it on the Fast and Furious soundtrack, which sold 400,000 units week one. I hate Def Jam. <laughs> I, I can't wait that. to interview Kevin Lowndes. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Speaking of your former rap career, somebody uh, tagged me in that um, <laughs> the Vince Carter uh, Nike commercial. I killed that show. I don't know what you're no, no, to no. say. I'm not uh, trying I don't to crack you about to say. I'm just saying I forgot about that commercial. Yeah, yeah. Dub B killed that beat too. <clears throat> Yo, speaking of uh, songs that's a little funny now, Ice While You Here, your man Chris Brown, um, you ever listen to the words to that No Exit song? Yeah, I listen to it. What's, it's crazy. Are you uncomfortable? Buy it. <laughs> no, honestly. I'm not even joking right now. Listen, Ice and I share the same love for Chris Brown's album. So I call myself cleaning on a Sunday singing No Exit because I love that song. And then I was like, whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. What are you talking about on there? Not letting a woman a woman escape. <laughs> the song is called No Exit. He meant that shit. Yeah, not in this climate. You can't make records like that. You know what song uh, I heard recently that was a little rapey to me? Uh, Joel Santana, Chris Brown, Back to the Crib. The chorus is she don't even know yet, but we going back to the crib. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of wild. That's crazy. That's wild. Ice, you don't care about this no exit thing. No, I'm, 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 I'm trying to think. No, don't think. No, the Here it is. Are coming. Don't Here worry. it is, right, right here. <laughs> I don't know what he said there right there, but it was all right. <laughs> that's, that's when the Molly kicking in. Wait. <laughs> when the Molly start kicking in, you start slurring your words and shit. <laughs> it works though. Yeah. She gotta be on Molly too. Yeah, for sure. Wait, wait, hold up. So let me make this clear. Let me make this clear. Very clear, my love. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. Swag. There's no exit. <laughs> There's no exit. 
I'm not worried about nothing because you can't go anywhere. Defend it. This is Shit, I ain't Wait, hold on, no, it's worse. Hold on. Here we go. I was singing this part. It really ain't no exit. I felt mad silence of the lambs <laughs> Girl, it really ain't no exit. Hey, you can't escape. Hey. Shit. Don't worry about it. Shit, man. It's great fine. record. I love yeah, that song. Like, I love that song. Yeah, great record. But I just feel like the best songs are made from like honesty, much like comedy. Like the best comedy is is birthed from like honest shit. You, you gotta be careful, man, with the messages you put these songs. <laughs> it's the Yo, tone. Brown can't Imagine tell no if chicken you just, ain't no exit. Yeah, if you just said that to a woman. Well, he got a couple <laughs> instead of saying I, it. I listened to his catalog and even going back, if you listen to the first verse of Poppin', it's a little uh Yeah. Yo, Chris <laughs> Brown is scary talented, man. Like his his talent level is is scary. I, he just listen. You can get away with a lot. He if, got in his own if way. You could man. sing it or rap it well, because rappers and R and B singers have gotten away with some shit you could never just say to a girl. I keep telling y'all all of these sexual allegations and these. Ra- listen, How did we get back to that? <laughs> God damn it! I thought we <laughs> left it. About no exit. No I mean, it's, it's all like you it's say. This kind of rapey. sounds rapey. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all, all in right, the same. Well, I'm pot. getting off of there because I don't want us to sound fucking. Rapey. Yeah, oh, well, chill. my next topic is kind of rapey, rapey too. <laughs> oh, but wait, but listen now. All right, ladies. Hold up, damn it. Where's my fucking... Le- now, ladies, this is good for y'all, number one. And y'all had to know that this was the next step. <laughs> I'm scared. Of I'm going terrified. This. Going this. Yeah. Let me, all right, so let me make a timeline for some of the younger people. I'm even more nervous when you make time. And since I'm making a timeline, let me throw this little sidebar out there. My son done lost his virginity and ain't touched the Xbox since. Oh, man. That's how it goes. Oh, wait. That nigga goes. ain't asked for a video game or nothing. You been touching Fuck another up. type of box. Nigga. Yeah, man. <laughs> Xbox, nigga. Yeah, but he... You know how much swag I walked out of my room that next day? See my... Oh, yo, what's up? What's good, mom? Well, <laughs> that's you. Much <laughs> like much like me, because the apple don't fall far from the tree. Man, when I got my first piece of pussy that I enjoy, boy, was I open. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm seeing some of those traits. Yeah. Yeah. Like he ain't it. texting you back yeah. fast enough? Nah. Shit. No, I, not that. I, don't, I follow I Trey on, on IG. Yeah, I see is, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he look a little... He's definitely... He's you can never say that that's not Joe Budden's son. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that's a fact. He's smitten. You can't deny him. But anyway, <laughs> did this nigga just say smitten? I did. <laughs> yeah, he, my, my son be mad smitten. He do. Smitten. But he tries to look cool. Still. I don't ever want to be smitten. <laughs> What's we like know. right under smitten? But What's then wait, <laughs> let me tell you. So his his ass and his little 16 year old friend that I did not say could come to my house. Somehow he was in my house. Uh, and Chef John was listening to them plot in the kitchen. Oh, Trey don't know who the It'd fuck be the Chef, chef. John is. It'd be the chef. It'd be your own chef. <laughs> Yeah, Chef John told me about all that shit Trey be saying. Yeah, or Trey will friend. never talk around Chef yeah. John again after yeah. he hears this one. <laughs> something about, yeah. If, I'm if, not going to talk if, around if, Chef John. <laughs> it was something. Chef John works for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> People that work for you should have some type of loyalty to you. But fucking uh, Chef, uh, Chef John said Trey was on. Hey, let me not even talk about it. Another nigga for it? It looked that way. This is live. Fight. NBA game. That, that was a That was a weak ass choco. We, we don't want to fight. Uh, we can't watch TV during the podcast. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what was I talking about before I got into my... Chef oh, John. all right. So this, let me paint the timeline for y'all. Not Chef John. <laughs> fucking Chef John's trying to give me a heart attack with all this fucking cholesterol. Word. <laughs> you got to stop posting Yo, something is wrong bacon when... and sausage every single morning. Rory it's is calling me. a lot calling, of bacon. Rory is calling me. Well, Chef John is 300 pounds. Or, well, no, he used to be. But you could tell. You got fat dude plates every day. No, I give, I give half of it to my dogs. <laughs> Yeah, they enjoy this. I, I, I'm was, sure. I was concerned as a friend. I wasn't even trying to crack jokes. I'm I called con- you concerned. I'm concerned as a dog owner. I'm like, yo, <laughs> y'all niggas gonna get a heart attack one day. <laughs> nigga, I, I told you that when I went to the crib the last time. I'm like, nigga, Harlem and Brooklyn got big. Man. <laughs> nah, <laughs> like Harlem, Brooklyn got is big. I think Harlem can stand up and walk. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, on his hind legs, yeah, dead ass. <laughs> That's crazy. But uh, so here's the timeline. Young people back in the day. Oh, they really trying to go. Back in the day, when you met a bisexual girl, it was like epic. It wasn't a common it was a thing. Yes. Right? Then times changed and that just became cool and whatever. Also, if you were too young for the white girls with ass phenomenon, the Asian girls with ass phenomenon, when they started to become shapely, 
you know, these are segments that are doc well documented in time, mm. right? So then we had to get used to the whole surgery thing where everybody started getting surgery. But then I accepted that because today in 2018, there are new ways to age. And God damn it, if you want to go and enhance yourself, by all means, go ahead and do what you got to do. However, what did you think the next step was from women putting caulk in their ass? <laughs> <laughs> did nobody think about the evolution? Did anybody well, we stop still- to think about, hey, if this continues, what's next? See, because I obsess over shit, so I asked that. So what is next? Before we get to that point, we still don't even know how these asses are going to age. No, it's over now. The fucking sex robots are here. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did y'all think was coming next? The sex robots are here. Yeah, not the little plastic blow-up dolls. That Al Bundy had in the No Man Club in the basement. Was that the name of the club? I don't know, but it is now. That's <laughs> it, a great it, fucking it, name. It was, was No Man. No Man. I think it was No Man. Al, Al Bundy don't get enough credit outside his four touchdowns at Polk High. <laughs> but uh, the next step would be fucking a robot. Is that the next step after surgery? A whole different human being that's not a human being? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The Hit. robots are here. Fucking a robot is crazy. Fam, we've been talking about robots on this podcast for a month straight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're Yo, every time I go no to my intended. fucking barber. <clears throat> he's fucking a robot? No. He is so excited to talk to this little Alexa bitch. Uh, yeah. oh, Alexa, yeah. do this. Alexa, volume down. <laughs> Alexa. Nigga, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alexa gonna be cutting your hair one day. That's what. <laughs> Ma, no, you're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm hearing I'm. You. That's what I'm saying. The robots are here. I go to supermarkets. One nigga check cash shit at the checkout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when you got to steal. The food. robots are here already, and they're fucking. That and is it, wild, though. All the things that robots would start to do with, we're gonna go with fucking first. <laughs> but what I'm like, saying all the is, things they could they could solve war. Like we could put them out to shoot other robots from other countries. Nah, let's just go fuck them. <laughs> you gotta be a you were just a different type of weirdo to fuck other sex robots. Od. Though. Okay, now I time, think you'd fuck wait, with corpse. Time out. Yeah. Time out. Before I'm, this conversation progresses, necrophilia is a thing, number one. I, I know, Joe. Yeah, that's why it's a word. Weirdos. Weirdos. And I'm not into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's not I'm a not, good, it's I'm not weirdos. Thing. It's a thing to the weirdos. <laughs> uh, okay, so before we go too far into judgment day. <laughs> no. no. I'm, I'll happily slow judge down. someone that fucks a dead body. Can, yes. I, can I talk or are y'all going to talk? <laughs> I, I have a question for everybody in the room. Sure. Has anyone in here ever used, used a Fifi? What's a fifi? I've never, I've fee-fee, never fee-fee, been man. locked up in prison, so no. Yeah, no. no. What is a fifi? <laughs> if you, if, first of all, if you a nigga that has your freedom, and you're at home <laughs> using a fifi, they should take you right back to jail for that. They should bring you up on further charges <laughs> and put charges? you in the same so, cell you just got out of. Okay, so time Second out. Degree but that's fine. But that's, that's fine. Nothing wrong with none of y'all having used it. But y'all tell Maul, us what it is, though. You sound like you do know what it is. Oh yeah. So my question to you is, if that can be a common practice, because at one stage in life, a fifi was common practice. No, it's common practice to niggas in jail that don't have females around. When you're in the free world know, what I'm saying, where there's women around, meet some women, have conversations, of, of course, date. Because, can, can y'all tell of course, us because what it is? I, I have down, context clues, so I think but, I know but, now. Of course, oh, because humans, humans adapt. Right. We just adapt to wherever we are, so we don't know until we're in the circumstance what we're what our abilities are. It wasn't until I was institutionalized that I knew a fifi felt good. That feels good. It does not feel bad when you don't have other options. So my point in saying that is institutionalized. You did a, a night <laughs> talking like Morgan Freeman and Shawshank. How long was you locked up? Rory doesn't know my history at all. Clearly, <laughs> Rory doesn't know very much about me at all. But uh. My point is, if that can feel good in a way, for in any circumstance, then why the fuck wouldn't they try to put some shit in a robot and have them niggas fuck? Fuck them. No, but here's my... With graphics and shit, listen, do you see what they're doing on the, the fucking robots? Do you no, see I, how advanced... They I, let you design... They letting you build your robot. Yeah. Shit, if you That's give... If you pay for a chick surgery right now, she'll let you build her. <laughs> if you're going to pay for it. Yeah. How big you want this ass? <laughs> how big you want these titties? You going to pay for it? Like it's the, the same shit. The pro- I, there's nothing that they're ever gonna replicate that's gonna equate 
to a real woman. I don't give a fuck. Sex robot, Fifi. There's nothing <laughs> like a real of course, woman. Small. So all of that I other shit it. is it's just the weirdos thing. trying to take over the world. Niggas that create sex robots are the niggas in the basements that are coming out to get fresh Ma, air. Ma, can I ask nah, you a question? He's right. Can I can I ask you a question? Yeah. And 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 this would normally be for my my side weirdo podcast that I'm gonna mm-hmm. start. Mm-hmm. If if human civilization had to come to an end, could you give me the three ways that you think it would end? I, I mean, it would definitely end with some type of artificial intelligence for sure. Okay, <clears throat> that's that's your number one. Well, well, they, yeah, I mean, well, they, they kind of so, thought yeah. that they kind of thought that with Y two K, kinda. Yeah, I, I think it was trash. Be hard. That was just it, to sell I think groceries. technology technology is definitely I think they were just, end of mankind. I, well, I think they were early. I, I think that technology is going to do it, and they were maybe uh, maybe a hundred years early. Yeah, I would say technology. It's coming. If you look around the world, it's coming. Yeah, yeah, I would say technology. But my thing is with all these sex robot shits. Again, it's it's the weirdos that are just you know the smart kids in school that would eat pencils all day. <laughs> They're adults now, and they've 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 graduated <laughs> yeah. from MIT. And they've and, gone and they, on to do great things. They and, need companionship. Yeah, and they never had a real woman. They never. All right, so just for the sake of conversation, nobody in this room would ever fuck a sex robot. Hell no. No, cool. Correct. Fuck nobody. no. Anybody have a dick coke in this room? Excuse me? Excuse me. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear what you, I didn't hear what you I know, said. I know you did. No, I swear. I, I, I really. No, honestly, no, I swear to everything, too. No, honestly, I didn't hear what you said. Seriously. I said, has anybody in this room ever done coke? Nah. Okay. Molly. <laughs> because of you, yeah. <laughs> Joe slipping. This nigga wouldn't leave me alone until I did Molly, man. This nigga Pause. followed me around the house with a that's, pill. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yo, now that I think about it, that was how the first. Yeah, this nigga wouldn't leave me alone, yeah, man. Hey yo, think the deadline is wow. It is wow. Super wild. This nigga in the world. No, it is wild. But you, you know, it's true though. You was like, here, just why, why not, bro? <laughs> <laughs> After seventeen, why not, bros? It turns. Just give me the fucking pill. Oh, you had to see the Molly I gave slaughterhouse in Afghanistan. What? Molly in Afghanistan well, is just crazy. I don't know where we was, but I found some Molly out there, and I wasn't gonna do it alone. <laughs> Man. Them niggas was tripping. Because <laughs> that shit was not Molly. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what was a. Oh, man. That was a great night. I had to call the guys, man. <laughs> Gotta call the guys. <laughs> the, guys. the guys. Get the band back together. All right, Maul. Give, yes. us the, give us the. Uh, see, certain shit we could. Like, I come on here and try to break news. You have the ability to break news, but you pussy, so you won't do it. You could have called this Chris Paul shit a long time ago. Right, the Rockets. Yeah. yeah, actually, I did predict that Chris Paul was gonna fuck somebody up this year. I just thought it would uh, be James Harden, but I didn't know. I didn't know they would. <laughs> yo, this is yo. Twenty eighteen is gonna be a good. Oh, you talking about the la- last night? Yeah, the the ball. That, that was that was that was that was Trev, man. That was Trev and Austin getting into that, and then James and Chris was holding Trev down. See, I was asleep, so I missed. I kind of missed. What did Austin wasn't even playing? He was talking shit to Trev on the sideline toward the end of the game. And Trev didn't like it? Well, there was Austin a couple can't fights. talk shit to Trev. Like, Austin, shut the fuck up. It's, it's like, shut up, nigga. I'll slap you. <laughs> no, nah, you can't do that, Trev. Why not? Austin Rivers <laughs> can't talk tough. Like, come on. But if you're talking the, the shit. The whole NBA looks at you like the privileged kid whose dad is GM of the, the only reason you're even on this team. Now, not saying Austin can't play. Let me say that because you, you can, have, said that, in, you have said that in the past, and no, he's but, gotten and, better. And, and yeah, and he's gotten better. But he was given the opportunity to grow and get better because of who his father is, and his father brought him to the team. It was a lot like the, the NBA knows, the NBA community knows that he was definitely given more space and opportunity to, to grow than most other players would be given. Right. So now, when you're on the sideline talking like you're, you know, an elite guy. And you talking tough like shut the fuck up didn't, and this, didn't, didn't it Austin turned into like I'll slap you. But Austin nigga. got a big contract, right? His dad gave him a contract. I don't give a fuck if the I don't give a fuck if the garbage man gave me the big contract. Once I got it, bitch, I'm here. <laughs> no, you're here, but uh, you can't start Who talking. Made, does he make more than Trev? I don't know what Austin's contract is. So if they're in the same ballpark of payment, and I'm just playing, but it's not even about the it's not even about the contract. Well, what it's was he Austin, saying? I don't know. Tell us. Yes, you do. I, man. No, I don't you know. Speak to Trevor. No, 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 I didn't talk to. I, I texted him. And he, we were just laughing about. It. I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him what was said. But 
It was just that type of shit, and then it just spilled over into. So Trev wanted to go to the locker room and fuck Austin Rivers up. Well, it turned into like, yo, <laughs> in let's front of his dad after the game. Yeah, let's see what's up. I can't fight him. Let's, let's see where your hands is at. Let's see where your hands is at. Who thinks Austin Rivers has hands? What are you talking about, Mo? Let's just see though. If you talk, yo, certain niggas no, no, no but that's no. the thing. You can't. That's that's what I'm saying. You can't talk like you can do that if you can't. It ain't about the contracts. It's like, yo, don't talk tough because you're not willing to go and do tough shit. You can't do black people shit at these white people events. That's why they did in the locker room. Let's go in the locker room. You know how it is. still at the white people event. It's it's at the venue, but it's like it's in the locker room. Whatever happens in here stays in here. Y'all know how it is. That's not true. All the reporters are here. Gilbert Arenas would say otherwise. All the reporters are here. Well, that's that's only because it was, you know, it turned into like a big security. All right, so let me me ask you a a question, and you may avoid it, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Since you know all the league wide rumors, <laughs> this guy went to the SPs league and wide. know everything. Niggas think Blake Griffin is chump, huh? Not that he's chump. That means he's chump, yeah. But you know, and I'm not saying that Blake. They don't think that he's <laughs> chump, but because Blake smoke. is a he's a he's a he's a big dude. That's what I'm saying. I'm cool. He's Blake, not chump, on, but on it's, it's just he got reach. That I'm NBA to quit shit. Smoke. That NBA shit ain't gonna go past that, man. It's not gonna turn into. You know what I mean? It's it's just it's it's that. It's well, you know, did, didn't they had two other NBA niggas try to get into it on uh, yesterday? Ben Simmons and uh, Kyle oh, yeah, Lowry yeah, yeah, yeah. got ejected and was like, "Yo, there's fights right in now. the Houston Clippers game too." Yeah, that's there's but, a couple little scraps. Again, man, all of that you shit just is. Seen a fight. Like niggas act like they want to step yeah, up now. So, like... Wait, y'all don't think there's a uh, Aaron Hernandez <clears throat> of the NBA? <clears throat> oh no, don't get it twisted. There's some dudes in the NBA that's I do. really from that background. Yeah, don't yeah. get it twisted. Yeah, no doubt. But top of the list is Zach Randolph to me. But but a lot of these dudes is not the ones that you see like they that's not them, they're not doing that. All right, so you don't you don't care. No, I mean I, that shit last night was just you know Chris Paul Blake Griffin but, shit. But is Trev okay? Yeah, no, he's good. Okay, he's good. All right, as long as as long as Trev's okay. All right, uh, Kevin Spacey hates niggers. <laughs> that was a great segue, by the way. <laughs> Allegedly, what do you say? This this one hurts. I I really liked Kevin Spacey, man. I did. So Kevin Spacey went from touching boys, T- touching right? little boys, to, to hating niggas. He's having a hell of a year. I was gonna say it's been. A- <laughs> Who'd he piss off? That's what I want to know. Apparently, um, during a taping of House of Cards in 2012, mm-hmm. this uh, uh, a taping in which a lot of black people were working in production. Uh. Some one of the black people from the production company or security team overheard Kevin Spacey say, "I don't want all these niggers watching my trailer." Shit. Listen, Kevin Spacey. <laughs> well, we've been fair. I don't want a bunch of niggers watching my trailer either. So, Spacey, I'm with you, bro. But, but I can say but that. boycott the NFL, right, Mo? No, but I can say that because I'm a black man, so I can say that Kevin Spacey can't. But we share the same sentiment. So, so this happened he in 2012. Can't. He just expressed it, and he shouldn't. But I, I feel him. I understand what he, where he's coming from. Like, don't I don't want all these niggas watching my trailer, bro. Yo, Chain Tuck Mall is wild. <laughs> Chain Tuck <laughs> Mall is a whole different animal. But it's the me. truth, though. You want a whole bunch of... I know you feel the same way. I don't want no niggas watching. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kevin Spacey just shouldn't be the one saying it. But I understand where he's coming from. I understand what he's saying. Black people can say that, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, we can say it. I we can't. Beat Kevin Spacey. Yeah, ass no, for sure. If I overheard him. One hundred percent, for sure. But I feel him. I understand what he's saying. Y'all are terrible. You he just, you he just shouldn't say that. No, he just, well, he they, just shouldn't say it. And I feel like black people love Kevin Spacey. We did. I feel like he was one of us. Like we kind of like he did Usual Suspects, man. Yeah, That's like we took movie. him in. That's why this one hurts, man. Verbal can't you acting like that? That's what niggas got to stop doing. Though. But that's why. That's why at the end of the Damn. day, I feel like all white people are like that yep. behind closed doors. I feel like why? Parks one hundred percent says niggas when we leave. <laughs> I know he cleans up like these fucking nigger Joe keeps coming in here spilling shit on my carpet. One thousand percent. I know Parks said that. Said, said oh, for sure. <laughs> Because Rory thinks that, black women, so I know when he get mad, that nigga bitch keep coming with my oh, Let's stop rumors now. I have Word. never said that. <laughs> yeah, Rory, don't do not do that. Don't do, don't do that. Don't do what? In the privacy of by yourself in the house, you've never no. done that? No. He ain't keeping it real with his niggas. He got to keep it real with his niggas, man. 
He got to keep it real with his niggas. Joe, <laughs> Joe, come back, man. He got to keep it real with his niggas, man. You've never said that? No. Well, you're... you're. I, I grew up around black people my whole life. I, it was just not in my vocabulary. I couldn't. More really needs his own platform. What you mean? I keep saying more needs his own platform. I 100% believe Rory has said that about a girl that pissed him off. No. I don't think that. I don't what? think that, and I don't think all white people feel like that. But it hurts that Kevin Spacey. No, that's that you feel like that, but they have said it amongst Maul, themselves. I grew up in the era where white people got punched in the fucking face for saying that word. It was not in my vocabulary yeah, at all. The nineties was different, more. Yeah, it was different. Like you I couldn't a little say that. Up today. Yeah, yeah, acting like I just came outside last night. Like I was, yeah, I know it was different. But I'm just saying it by yourself. Yeah, it's not even I in don't my say it by myself. <laughs> Nobody's Yo, around. Nobody's around. Just you know, I'm trying to get niggas to admit it. Yeah, like, <laughs> when no one's around? Like, you know how much shit I say when nobody's around? Like, oh my that's God. That's like when your girl say, just admit it. I won't be mad. <laughs> trying to set me up. No, it, I, 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 would be hurt. I would be hurt if Leo said some shit like this. Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, like, there's a few white actors that, I mean, I would feel a way if they, if they said some shit like that. I'm a little hurt by the Kevin Spacey shit, but fuck him. Yeah, no, nah, it's over from that. But see, that's the thing about us, though. Once we do, <laughs> once once we do away with you, it's over. Like you can't come back. Yeah, yeah, I'm, so, I'm, I'm cool. It might Kevin Spacey over, can't. Already. We can't. We won't watch nothing for free on Netflix from Kevin Spacey anymore. Like it's over. No, I, no, bye, Kevin Spacey. You're yeah, it's cool. over. Uh, do y'all want to talk about? Uh, no, I'm off of Kevin Spacey. Uh, I don't care about this. Uh, we can talk about this Cardi tattoo that's on this guy's neck. Which we talked about on uh, Afterthoughts, tattooing your girl's name on you. We we predict a lot of shit on this podcast. <laughs> we do. What is that? Sick? I don't. I just don't understand what that. Because to me, that's just so cliche. Now I'm trying to root for Offset and Migos after our 2017 fallout. Let me just. There's a few, I'm trying to root for some of the people that I your, had fallouts fallout. with. Uh, the Migos. Uh, there's a few other people that I'm trying to root for out there. No, I'm root. I'm I'm root for them too. I just don't understand. I'm we, I'm just in but talking about Jesus getting your Mary. girlfriend or your boyfriend's name tatted on you. I just don't understand. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't understand, I don't understand the phone background, <clears throat> so I couldn't even begin to start with the tattoo. Word. Yeah, I, like, explain this to us. What y'all want me to explain, man? What's up? I, ask away, Rory. I'm here. I know you skipped all my questions. I'm I, done interviewing I'm Ice. Yeah, Someone true. else got to do this. That's true, there we too. go. Then. Ice, have you ever had a girl name tattooed on you? I don't have any tattoos. <clears throat> Could have got it removed. Nice pussy. <laughs> I don't have any tattoos either. Ain't nothing I me, love me to put on me permanently. This is my only thing. All right, so let's let's try to let me try to navigate this to a place that maybe some of you guys will be able to identify with. <laughs> the, the, the engagement, right? The tattoo. There's a lot of little things that are happening. As a result of him fucking on camera. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you gentlemen. What are some of the lengths pause. That you guys have gone to. When either. Faced with the potential of getting caught cheating. Or. Facing the music of getting caught cheating. Well what are some of the worst ways you've ever been caught cheating. Ma I really wish you could jump in in this conversation. But you know. Life just never. I don't led, cheat. Yeah, I don't well, cheat either. Life so. never led you to a a point where no, you had I've, that bond. I've had that bond. That bond. <laughs> well, I man, just don't. I'm not. A, I don't cheat. Man, gotta stop jumping out the window. You'll get her forgiveness back. You don't have to marry her or tattoo her name in your skin. Give it like a day. Don't they just jump. Niggas, just man, just don't young. jump. Like all right, well, well fuck. I, I guess I gotta go to the tattoo spot. <laughs> like let her calm down, and then we'll talk about it. Young niggas don't know no better, man. Well, what Joe does is great. He gives a woman a whole album. I think that's that's <laughs> that's genius. romantic. That's that's dope as fuck. Oh, nigga, shooting at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's dope. Like when you just do a whole album and she that's music forever. That's that's crazy. That's dope. That you is very nice. Your, you made some of your best records when you were in love. So that was dope. that was Thank dope. You. That is dope, man. No, well, seriously, all jokes aside, you made some really I'm great records. One hundred percent following Maul after the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to just leave. He's not leaving here wearing a chain. <laughs> We're going to get to the end of this. All right, so y'all don't care that this nigga is fucking. Y'all try. Oh, y'all trying. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Niggas trying not to blow their own spots up here. This one. Anytime you talk about yeah, some shit that a nigga will about relationships, himself, this yeah, yeah, yo, the rule. Yeah, like, what's up with y'all niggas, man? I don't understand, Joe and Rory. 
<laughs> Damn. Everybody already knows my my past transgressions. I know, man. It was a joke. I'm also talking about Rory. I've, I've been a Rory change, been man. sipping that bottle for 17 straight seconds. That's good. Yo, this, you yo, this is what I wanted. To, this is what I was saying about Rory too before you before you uh, got here. Rory in his unemployment loves to hang out. You don't notice he has, that he has time. Says the Rory guy. Says the guy hang- that was just hanging out at TRO. You wasn't asked to be there. You was just there. That joke ain't funny enough it, to repeat it 90 times. It's the truth. <laughs> like, you don't even know that. It was cool. It, was, it lacks the zinger now. But it you, lacks the zinger. <laughs> yeah, you know the thing. But you, nigga, you like to hang out. And why is that such an insult? Like, why is he attacking me? Because I'm saying you like to hang out. It's networking, well, bro. He's attacking it's my true. character. No, because you're, you're, you're lying. So, so no, you he has more free time now. You don't network? Well, I want to know where I hang out. The club. Like where where am I hanging out? Wait, am I in the fucking am I in bizarre world? Am I in bizarre? Talk to you last okay, week. Okay, where where exactly where were you referring to though? When he was hanging out, when you say hanging out, Rory is everywhere. Rory puts me on to all of the new trendy popping spots. Oh no, and, Rory, in, and invites me there. No, sometimes. Rory's that guy. He's, been, he's <laughs> always been that guy though. He always that's knows. Why, a that's good, why I don't understand why. No, Rory but he always knows a good it. bar. He knows a good that's bar. He knows a good. I was doing that when I had. Yeah, a job. Like, yeah I yeah, hit yeah. him about that stuff. You know, but he was doing that when he had a job. But my point <clears> is, <throat> if you're that guy, mm-hmm. wouldn't you have hung out? <laughs> Rory's hangout man I say that And this nigga Squares up with no, me No he's definitely he knows, You're he's, hangout man He bro. knows a good bar He knows where the best James is Well he's in Irish he's I'm still Irish. just wondering Where I've been hanging out Because I've been at the crib You're hangout man You're hangout man <laughs> <laughs> He 100% is hangout man You hang man for real man do, uh, Wait do, so do y'all want to talk about uh, The culture too Dropping I know that's really big To the hip hop world <sighs> That's, yeah, let's that's talk Migos about it. I gotta Second album I gotta hear it so Well the first album was good Is it I went. Third album? They had an album before Culture, I thought. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Did that they? one didn't really. No, I think they it was a really mixtape. I don't know if it was an album. Really? Yeah. No, they had an album. I thought they had an album. I don't know. I'm the last nigga to act like I'm well versed on my Migos catalog. Oh, yeah, and I can't tell the difference between an album and a fucking mixtape anymore, anyway. Yeah, we don't know, but well, people. When, when does really, it come out? Uh, I don't know. Save on somebody check. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck would I know? Culture 2. It's next Friday. Yeah. Or the Friday after. Oh, it's, really? It's, it's, it's real, oh, real soon. soon. Real soon. Yeah. And I think I saw. I don't want to. Isn't they, isn't they single number one right now on Urban? Yes. Motorsport. They got a new single. Motorsport. Oh, Motorsport. No, the old one. Uh-huh. Yeah. They, number one. Congrats to number one. Congrats to the label, man. <coughs> January twenty sixth. Good, good for you. I I, I was totally Culture wrong two. about that song. I thought that song would come and come and go, and it did. But y'all y'all made the label keep spending. So. <laughs> you ain't heard nobody. I've been out a couple times and ain't heard it. I've been beasting to hear it. <laughs> Motorsport. Yeah. <clears throat> You heard it. Come on. You got a chain on. I, I don't go nowhere, bro. I, I'll, I tell don't you, go I, any, I'll tell you about some spots. I literally don't go I anywhere. I don't go anywhere. If I don't play it, I don't hear it. Honestly. Yeah, I'm oh. with you. It's been too cold. Yeah. Well, speaking of that in Atlantic, did you see Nipsey's tweet about streaming? Yeah, that uh, was yeah. interesting. A lot of people made sure we saw that. We was all at it. That was what I was confused about. This <clears throat> podcast is about that. <laughs> it's about that. So <laughs> why the fuck are they adding us like we aren't aware? Right. No, no, no. But they were just trying to, you know, make sure that we saw it. I tweeted the same type of information a couple of days before that. Came well, here, out, I'll, so. I'll read it. This is all based off no one, news one million streams. YouTube is six hundred ninety dollars. Spotify is four thousand three hundred and seventy. Apple Music is seven thousand three hundred and fifty. In title is twelve thousand five hundred. Amazon Music is four thousand twenty. YouTube is not six hundred ninety dollars. Well, first of all, YouTube. Streams. That's not true. This is a little different because YouTube is a free platform. So I don't know if you could base that off there. Like you can't really gauge how many people are subscribing because of your album and how many people are playing it. YouTube gives you more than six hundred and that was dollars. That was my only streams. thing about it. Like, did we fact check? That's all that's that. all I all I know on on that whole list is that that is false. And Spotify also and I they don't pay you a lot, but that number is like a little too low. Spotify, I believe, has a free. Part as well, it has ads, but I think there is a free subscription you can do for Spotify because I think that changes a lot. Because title, it's not as many subscribers, and if you bring in a certain amount of people for your exclusive project, they're going to pay you more. Right. So while I see what Nipsey's saying here, this is gauge different because they are different platforms. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting, but I think yeah, I don't. I think that's pretty common knowledge. I thought. I mean, not common, I guess, but. I guess it's not common to the casual fan because a lot of that sells records. It's 
I guess for people to see it right. written right. gives you a different I got reaction. a lot of responses when I talked about how when you sell an album, you make $6, $7, whatever it is. If you stream an album 100 times, you make 90 cents. I had a, uh, someone asked me what the difference is between buying and streaming an album 100 times, and that is the math. So, Speaking of that, now that you say that, and my memory is really trash, so forgive me if I fuck this up, but... In Jimmy Iovine's interview that he did where he was talking about not leaving Apple, I think. He, yeah, he, 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 oh, men- he, he mentioned he was talking about the future of streaming and streaming music and all that shit. And he said that something about how maybe Apple was behind because, or somebody was behind, or streaming period is behind on iTunes because there's not original. I want to find what he said because I'm really butchering what he said whatever he said though about not being able to stream original shit multiple times podcasting was the answer to i would have to hear the quote because find that fucking quote Savon. pull up that interview of jimmy Iovine saying he's not leaving apple and go all the way to the end of it because that's where it was and that had me like wait what nigga so what was the gist though I have, to, I, have to, I, have to, I have to read it. He was defending something that was just, it just didn't make sense. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't sound right, but we'll pull it up. Uh, but to piggyback off of Rory's conversation, I did want to speak about this too, because I thought this was intriguing. Uh, Disney planning to buy all of Fox's assets. That's really, really, if anybody is paying, a, paying like really close attention in the, in the content world and just like in media and the corporate America, there's a lot going on. Oh, Disney's doing their own shit. There, there is a well. Disney, They're about to start their own Netflix type of well, situation. That, that's happening. They right. Disney pulled all of their Marvel shit from Netflix. Yeah. In purchasing this, uh, all of Fox assets, they reclaim the rights to the some of the Marvel uh, heroes that were sold before Disney purchased. Like, uh, what's the nigga that everybody likes? Uh, Deadpool. Okay. Captain America and there's one more. This deal also really affects sports as well. Why you say that? Yeah, I don't know if that's true. I I'm think t- Fox t- still retains its no, sports. They retain FS1. I read this, so let me read it to you guys. I'll go because this article and let me give credit to USA Today. This article explains how this purchase affects sports uh movies and all this shit so it says what this means for movies for superhero fans buying 20th century fox's film and tv studios could help disney fulfill many comic book fans long awaited dream a return of the x-men and fantastic four characters to the original owner uh and that would be because they sold off the rights blah 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 blah. right uh let's see uh, the sale gives Marvel home to the Iron Man, Captain America, and Avengers franchises the ability to fully integrate the popular characters into future films together. That's big. Uh, so that affects that. Let's see Star Wars. I don't give a fuck about Star Wars. Uh, for sports fans, Disney has a new roster of sports networks to complement ESPN. And to bolster its direct-to-consumer ESPN plus subscription streaming service expected to launch next year, Pause there for a minute. YouTube is also launching YouTube Red soon. I think it's already it's launched. launched. It's, it's been out. That's, yeah, launched. It's out. Been yeah. out. That's been out for yeah, a minute. YouTube TV. They read the air game. Oh, no, they no, got, no, they no. got the TV okay. already now. No, no, no. Yeah, YouTube TV no. or some shit. Like they're about to focus on that. That's okay. They're about to invest. They're about to go. Uh, Fox owns 15 regional sports networks nationwide. These networks have broadcast rights deals with 44 of 81 Major League Baseball, NBA, and NHL teams, as well as broadcast rights for many Division I college sport teams in those respective areas. Fox's 80% stake in the Yes Network, which broadcasts the New York Yankees and Brooklyn Nets, has been speculated to go to Disney as well. Here's what is not sold. Fox's national, uh, Fox's national Fox Sports One network that it launched alongside FS2 in 2013 to compete with. All right, blah blah blah. What it means for sports? 
While Disney-owned ESPN has rights to a variety of uh, national broadcasts for professional baseball, football, and basketball, as well as major Division I college sports, it's less deep on regional games. Fox's network would help make ESPN's Plant 2018 streaming service more attractive. Big shit is going on. Well, yeah, no, bottom no, line, no, I don't yeah, give that a does fuck make sense because if you're merging Fox with ESPN, essentially, is kind of what's potentially could happen. So now you're looking to uh, majorly affect what Netflix is doing, but but I'm assuming that all of this is connected to Bright on Netflix and why they're now ultra spending for a bunch of shit. Well, well Netflix, I think, also is getting out of the business of other people's content. Like it's hard to find not Netflix content on there. For me, at least, there's like way well, they've, they've you have been, to they've dig. Been with some movies, it's it's way lighter than it used to be. One hundred percent, that's true. You can't everything says mostly the originals most, on there yeah, now. Yeah, everything you got to dig, and they yeah. they make it so when you open up the app or whatever, it's all Netflix shit first, and then mm-hmm. you can if you dig, you can that's find the, the other maker. shit. That, yeah, yeah, that's 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 the purpose of this. Netflix is trash. You think so? Nah, I gotta I disagree Netflix. with that. Well, what are you talking about? It's a lot of bullshit on Netflix. There is a lot of dope shit on Netflix too. Not a lot. No, a lot. Yes, it is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. I would say it's a higher percentage if, of dope If that's shit, the really. only thing you have, like you don't even pay for cable, then yeah, it's trash. But right. if you want some cool shows every now and then, cable is trash. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Well, what streaming service do you, do you like? Who? I, lo- I love YouTube. Like YouTube to me is a shit. Like searching videos or yeah. actually watching Yeah, but you live. can't watch like- I mean, no, I mean- Hulu is cool. YouTube. I, I mean, Netflix is cool when something dope comes out. Right. But- if you just sit in the crib and you pull up Netflix and trying to just find some shit is difficult. That yeah, shit yeah, is yeah. terrible. It, you, have to be, you have to be invested in their original content. Yeah, and the that show shit is, is terrible. I and wish like, that I always wish that one of those sites would at least have like some type of Rotten Tomatoes score or something yeah. where you could like. Yeah. It's, it's hard to tell Kinda what's dope it. and what's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get y'all on Plex, man. That changed your life. All right, so I found the Jimmy Iovine uh, quote that I was looking for. Well, thank Savon found it. Uh, and he says, and I quote, he says, so Netflix has all the all that original stuff and it's eleven ninety nine, he said. Music. Everybody has everything. Plus the free tiers. Every song is on YouTube. So how can they charge eleven ninety nine to a consumer? I'm like, no. I'm gonna buy this and get the music for free. It's a massive problem. Even if it was ever solved, could that price point work? They asked that. And he says, I don't know. I think if it were big enough, it could cost less. Put yourself in Kansas without a job and YouTube is free. Pandora is free. Spotify is free. If there's a restaurant down the street with the exact same food as this restaurant that's on a mountain with a view, only this one's for free. A lot of people are going uh, to eat there. How are you, sir? I, I'm well. I'm right in the middle of a podcast. Where are you? Are you in New York? Will you be here tonight? I'll call you in the morning. Good morning. Oh, the baby's excellent, man. The baby's great. He's a champ. Raising a king. He's good. The show looking good. You, you look. You're looking... I, I, I'd like to go to a watch party. Y'all look like you're having a lot of fun. What is it? Puffy and Billy? Billy? Yeah. I want to do that. Billy and Diddy. I'm, I'm, I'm with that. Hit me in the morning, nigga. Love. Uh, he says, what is this happening here? Roy, come on. What's the code on your phone? This isn't mine. It's Savon's. I thought Maul was about to break my phone. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what just happened? Yo, I want people to laugh at more the way I do. All right, let me see. <laughs> Rest of my, uh, these these are issues the record industry has to deal with, and I don't know if they're dealing with it. This ain't even what I was looking for. Bottom line, he's saying his point was with music, you stream it once, but then it's for free everywhere, so we can't really battle. A Netflix who continues to stream original content. Right. And my response to that is, you fucking idiot. Not idiot, of course, because you're arguably the smartest man in music. Right. But y'all have an entire podcast department on Apple. And y'all are monetizing it all wrong. I I get it. Y'all are trying to fix that now. Carl, all the people at Apple don't attack me. I I see y'all trying to fix it now. The problem is everybody's trying to fix it now. 
right. Tidal is trying to fix it. Spotify is trying to fix it. Pandora is trying to fix it. Everybody, Revolt is trying to fix it. Right. Everybody, Net Serious is trying to fix it. Right. MTV is trying to fix it. BET is trying to fix it. And there's a million other uh, networks and production companies that are trying to fix it. Right. Now. 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 That's crazy to me that Jimmy Iovine could be that smart and 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 say that when it goes to my point, my, my question that, that me and you talk about all time parks, mm-hmm. this podcast is two to three hours long right. of original content right. and it's streaming. Right. The fuck is the difference in me coming to your house and making a song and it's streaming right. for three fucking minutes? Right. You can't make sense of it. You cannot. Somebody. I mean, it's odd because Apple put that podcast app on the fucking iPhone 3. Like, right. it's been there forever. forever. It's not like Apple has not been aware of what podcasts are and how important they are. They You couldn't even delete the app for fucking 10 years. Man, yeah. these like, niggas be it's so odd fucking that they late the, to the party, they man. They ain't the first ones to be on it. I could see a Spotify because they're relatively new. But Apple has been aware of podcasts and pushing podcasts for quite some time. Well, I mean, nothing's ever going to be perfect. So even when they fix that problem, another problem will come up. You know what I mean? And this is just them trying to fix... Problems. Perfect. Yeah, I we mean, ain't asking for shit <laughs> to be perfect. We asking fucking for the f- creators to be paid somewhat close to their worth. Right. Yeah. I mean, because if all the creators get up and just walk out, mm-hmm. <laughs> I always go back to that. If we all just stop, then what? It's over. Yeah, they don't have anything there. You can't. I'm not. We're not asking for shit to be perfect for YouTube to to pay above pennies on the dollar. Right. right. And we all in here love YouTube. Make trillions but of dollars. But YouTube and Spotify and some of these streaming, yo, they getting over, bro. Super. They getting I, over. Well, the YouTube shit is I crazy because they doubling up on ads now too. It used to be one you could skip it after three seconds. Now you got to watch two thirty second uh, ads that you can't skip. Yeah. That's a lot of money going to YouTube's pocket. So yeah. I just want to say that for the creators out there, look around in the world, my nigga. Please be aware of what people are doing. They are getting ready. <laughs> Shit, they got Disney logo on the Magic jersey right now. Yes. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Um, but I mean, where would that leave us as podcasters if it goes into that scre- uh, streaming formula where it is exclusive? Granted, like maybe I can't upload to SoundCloud. They get rid of uh, whatever that code is called. And we're just exclusive to Apple. Now, are we at the same dollar point as an artist? And do they have ads running while our podcast is running? If if you if you ta- if you're talking to me, no, we're we're more valuable <laughs> than the artists. Mm. That's and that's if what that's, that's what, if you're talking to me. That's where it has to change, though. Like they have to just start. Then uh, they they have to start respecting the creators more than they respect these ads and these these other things because it's like they'll never do that because the creators now <laughs> are just even the fucking artists now they just are. Vehicles for the ads. That's it. Yeah. yeah. A, 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 musicians and music people and, and fans, casual, anybody out there, I, I don't know if y'all are seeing, that's all that's happening with music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that's it's the same thing with professional sports, the same thing with TV shows. You're just driving for ads to come. Yeah. The ad point goes up it when the Super Bowl happens. It, it wasn't always so <clears throat> overt. Mm. It was. I just don't think we were looking at it the way we are now because it's affecting music more than it ever has before. Yeah, and now we have more information. I think people that have been in TV their whole life, this is this has been a a problem that's been around forever. It's shit. Back to Chappelle. Like I'm bringing in five hundred million dollars, and you want to give me fifty million? Wait, Aziz wore the Me Too shit, and and knew it <laughs> and knew what was going on. Right, man. <laughs> See, that's where it just gets a little tricky. I'm not even. I'm, but I'm not even joking. Because if he if 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 I know this shit is coming, he know this shit is coming. He know there's more shit coming, and you was up there repping that me too shit. Is a lot. It's gonna be a lot of predators repping that me too shit. I mean, he was just putting his girl's face in the iPhone before the. You know what I mean? Preemptively striking, smart. D- dissing Drake before the Drake disc on. Yeah. Yo, speaking of <laughs> speaking of fucking your phone, I got. I still got to see that her movie. No, I, I saw it. Like, what movie? You Her. only need to see it once. It's yeah. not something you have to revisit, but it's uh, a. It wasn't movie. a bad movie. It was a good movie. I, I enjoyed I, it. I, I want to see. I want to see that movie. What was that movie about? I, I suggested uh, this that guy. Movie uh, he falls asleep when the nigga fell in love with his phone. 
No, it was that's the me. Computer was, system. It was, it was you fell in love with oh, artificial oh, intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fell in love that. with Siri. That was a good movie. That's yeah. me. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love my phone. That no, that's, that's, that's Jose. Speaking of, I, well, one of them black spoke about the uh, Black Panther, and I said I think it would set records, and clearly it's on. Lo and behold, set and the week after we spoke about it, I came in and said you're right. No, but I'm just bringing it up that now that it's closer to the movie coming that's out. The black people love to support black shit. Do they? Now, yeah. Now it's oh, okay, and it's I, trendy now. It's trendy. It's trendy. It's Ho- trendy. Hove did that. I like I like the people that 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 just do it authentically. Yeah, not. I mean, but I'm happy about it. No, I, I am too. And we're all going to. You're, you're going to see the movie, right? Hell yeah! I'm going to go see it too, man. See what the fuck Michael B. Jordan is doing. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan is one of them niggas. I just be want to know what he's doing. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I want to know what Michael B. Jordan is doing. Bro, chicks fun. really like that nigga, man. Hey, hot in these streets right Any now. Any nigga that chicks really, really like. At some point in my head, I say, "Oh, what that nigga's doing? He ain't doing nothing." <laughs> you a fucking hater. That's man. Such, this nigga's a hater. Just pure hate. That no, was that no. hate was so like you tried to hold the hate back, but you not, said, "Fuck it, let me let this hate I, clip go." Oh, this hate clip. <laughs> yeah, it's not a clip of hate. It's a clip of hate. Yo, I do know that that sounded like hate, mm-hmm. but you no, know, it was, you know, I don't have a hateful bone in my. No, but I'm just saying that's just hater shit. That's something that a hater was. What these niggas be doing? Yeah, like let me see what this nigga doing. Why chicks like this? He ain't doing shit. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't what doing. Is he's not doing do? shit. No, he just happens to be in probably the biggest Marvel yeah. movie ever. Yeah, right? He's about now. to be the biggest actor no, in the world no, in a month. I'm talking shit, but I, I really enjoy his his glow up. Donald Glover's glow up. Uh, ATL second season is back. Hmm. Uh, or back? coming, coming, uh, coming, coming, coming. Trailer was the trailer was really dark. Definitely didn't have the comic relief that that the show was initially pitched as. You trash for looking for comic relief. <laughs> <laughs> the show is mad comic relief. <laughs> that nigga wanted to see comic relief in the trailer. God damn it! Yeah. Rough crowd out there. It looked like someone's about to die in the trailer. Good. I want to see it now. I want to see niggas about to die because hey, niggas speak- do die in ATL. So hey, speaking of shows, have y'all peeped uh, the shy? Yeah, oh, hell yeah! I've seen the first, yes, has there Great been a show. third episode? I've only seen the first no, two. Um, third episode is this weekend. That okay. shit is really, really good, man. What does Common have to do with that show outside of being from sh- the shot? I think he's probably well, he's one of the executive producers and the, and the best pizzas from the shot. But he's in it though, right? Oh, yeah, I think he's in it. Not, not, not yet. I'm not, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> You said the best pizzas from the shot. So we're not, we're not, <laughs> I'm not doing this. Oh, okay, we're not doing this. Uh, but uh, oh, ah, uh, uh, that's. That's what I wanted to talk about. I'm mad we even getting into this so late because this what? was very important. This was really important. And I was shocked. I almost didn't want to talk about this shit because my nigga, that's my nigga, man. But, you know, at one you, point, you a hater. at one point, it was a little beef. It was a little beef. But no. So, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this shit. Nah. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. Where's my. Hey! Oh, this is the good version. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 101.9 DJ Verified on the, hey, the old, old niggas be jamming with this shit before, but this is not why I'm playing this. <laughs> I read an interview, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Look, look at the guitars coming in. Hey, <laughs> wait, hold up, you can't even talk over this shit. Hey. I ain't even mad at Envy no more. <laughs> hey. I'm so glad Hay is not dying in 2018. I like Hay. Hey, hey. <laughs> I like, like Hay. It's getting ample. And hey. Uh, and that's the fucking Thundercat si- signal for the thoughts. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Let you know the Henny's hitting now. <laughs> Make your move, Aziz. Yo. <laughs> what the fuck, man? So listen to this. DJ Envy, I read an interview. And I ain't mad at him. This is real nigga shit. It's, it's just funny. To, it's just funny to admit and read. DJ Envy role plays with his wife. Would you like to read the quote? Do you have the quote? I have the quote. <laughs> Let's turn Maxwell up, though. <laughs> hey! Maul is so confused. Maul has no idea what's happening. All right. All right, let's hear it. Envy tells Essence Magazines. And that's trash that you're telling Essence. <laughs> <laughs> Not to sound too crazy, but she's my everything. She's my wife. She'll turn into my little slut. Everything we want to do in bed, we do. I've been a cowboy. I've been Barack Obama. I've been a police officer. And one time, I was Maxwell. That's real? It's a real quote. Wait, what do he mean by he was Maxwell? <laughs> <laughs> 
What, what do he mean by any of that shit? Honestly, <laughs> Obama Barack is crazy. <laughs> so what he mean? Like he was talking like these niggas? <laughs> <laughs> no more. He's talking about role playing with his wife, and 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 shout out to Envy. He's talking about role playing. So I didn't want to target Envy. I just want to talk about role play. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just looking for understanding right well, now. Well, I'm just curious how he pulled off Maxwell. <laughs> Maxwell? Is that what you're curious about? <laughs> I'm curious about how he pulled off a cowboy. <laughs> Any nah. of that shit. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Envy, Envy could be a cowboy. <laughs> Listen, man. But you listen. <laughs> hey, bro. I get it. Whatever. Do you? <laughs> no, but hey. no. Role but playing wait. with your wife is fine. That's, that's cool. I'm per- happy they have a, a, a great no one relationship. Is laughing at that. No. That shit is cool. That's fly that you could how, still do that with your wife. How in the? Well, you got to do that after you get. You know what I mean, <laughs> seven years. And no, not yeah. yeah to our yeah, answer yeah. to our other questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can't even talk about that. But. Heck, can DJ Envy be Maxwell? <laughs> Come on. Honestly, tell the truth. Somebody tell me. I want to call. I'm blaming my phone. I'm calling. On a, on so a, we feel on, like he part of the joke. On a further note, though, like, how do we how do we feel about this role playing shit, though? Honestly. No, no. Let, let, I, I want you to ask that after I call Envy. Because, like, I'm, I'm sitting here just trying to think, like, I don't know about that role playing yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't do a lot of role play, personally. But, I, can't, I mean. I'm not the, the right chick, I think. I, bruh, listen. I just. I'm not saying I'm opposed to it. I just, you know. Because how does that go? I don't even know how that even. How does it go? Like, I got to start talking like this nigga? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not how do you talk like a And cowboy? now my girl is fucking that guy? How do you talk like a cowboy? Oh, I hate when niggas don't answer when you really want them to answer. Damn. Damn. I ain't leave no fucking voicemail. <laughs> I don't think Envy could pull off Maxwell. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying Maybe to understand. He had the song role playing play. and I, I, never, I never understood role playing. I don't. I don't. To me, that's just like, are you just doing that just to crack jokes, or does that you're doing that to lead into like sex? I, I believe to lead into sex. I don't think there's she's no cracking jokes. jokes with him. Because if we just in the house cracking jokes and I'm acting and impersonating niggas, that's different. But yeah. no, that's if I'm doing that trying to get you sexy, I can't nah, act. Like she no, might, I, she might got a thing for Barack Obama. Oh, hold on, time. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. First oh, of all, man, you, I don't think Envy could be Barack either. <laughs> Oh, you still on that? I don't move on. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. I'm not acting like no nigga that my girl might like, nigga. <laughs> that ain't Wait, my girl no more. What the fuck you mean? I'm not mom, acting like mom, no other nigga. Mom, mom. Yo, oh, yo, man. mom is. That's what really I just said. His, if your girl head. like, uh, if she, she might be, she might like <laughs> other like Obama or or Maxwell. Wait. So you gotta act like Obama or Maxwell. You mad, you mad no, at your you girl? can go and try to find Obama and Maxwell. You get out of my house. Like, I'm not trying to... You mad at your girl for liking Obama? <laughs> Maxwell, no, what I'm I'll saying is, know. my girl ain't gonna be like, damn, like I'm sexually attracted to Maxwell. You gotta be Maxwell. <laughs> no, warrior, no. You, I'm with you on that one. If you want this pussy tonight, Obama. you gotta be Maxwell. No, you got me fucked up. <laughs> is what you got. I'm getting that pussy tonight. <laughs> As Maul. As Maul. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm Maul every night. Ladies and gentlemen. You're not Maulwell? That no. was more. <laughs> yeah, like I don't. Under, I never understood role playing. I don't, not. I don't. If we just having fun cracking jokes. Here. Yeah, why do you keep maybe? saying? But wait, why does Mo keep saying if we just having fun cracking jokes? Yeah, because you know if you in, you if, if you in the crib with your girl and y'all just bugging out. But I'm talking about if you trying to be like getting into like sex, like that's role play. Though. That's supposed to turn her on. I don't know. Nah, so I've never understood you, that. You have never role played. No. Yeah, I'm tired of you niggas judging shit y'all never did. Shut up, then, nigga. Fuck is you, you can't talking tell me about? To shut up, but nigga. why are you talking about fucking role playing if you never did it? I said I don't understand it. Okay, all right. So let me try. Let, all right, let's try to have the conversation. Who did you act like? Because <laughs> obviously you defended. Oh, I just shit. hit a soft spot. Pow! There you go. No. So let me see who did you act like? <laughs> who, who, do, who who do you act like in the bed? <laughs> who do you act like? Uh, Common. I think no. Carlos Boozer. Boozer. No, Rory. Oh. Uh, I think I think a cop is easy. I think everyone's been a cop before. That's probably the first role that you play. <laughs> that's that's beginner one on one. I'm about role to have play. so much fun with this. Hold on, <laughs> <laughs> hold on. So wait a minute. <laughs> You've been a cop in the bed bedroom before. Please give me the dialogue. I need to hear what you were saying. <laughs> Please, Please. <laughs> but why is that so far fetched to you, Joe? You being a cop. <laughs> The, probably the most hated the most people you hate on this planet the most is probably police officers so for you to play a cop in your bedroom is hilarious to me I, I gotta know what you were saying though well 
Someone's been a naughty girl. <laughs> Yo. You was, <laughs> <laughs> you was pretending to be a, a siren like Bobby hey. Valentino? Hey! No. First of all, I was pretending to be a siren. First of all, telling her someone's been a naughty girl. <laughs> Looks like you've broken a few laws. <laughs> Yo, you are a fucking creep. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are definitely a creep. Put your hands behind your back and turn around. <laughs> why? Is that, why? I don't see why Maul's bugging out like that. That's not swag? No. <laughs> That's not swag at all. Hold on, hold on. Hey. Wee, wee. <laughs> Joe definitely did the same. Like it, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with Joe? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That was Wayne, not Joe. Don't put that on Joe. Uh, Wayne's a like a cat. <laughs> that's a great record, though. <laughs> look, look, see? That's and a great record. That's my beef. When Joe said, like a cat, cat, <laughs> it's trash. Because it's not Joe. You can't do that. Wayne That's can exactly do that. why I retired. <laughs> that's exactly why. Because other niggas can do shit that Joe can't do. Why I can't, like a cat, cat. That's not you. <laughs> That's not you. I told Maul that if I went in the booth and sung the chorus to I Hate Sleeping Alone, he would shoot me. Yeah, I'm on board with him. I Hate Sleeping Alone. That's a Drake record. Yeah, nigga. And it's super hard. Yeah, I would shoot you. <laughs> so why you don't shoot him? Because he, he has a better See, voice than you do. No, 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 no. See? Slick move there, buddy. I'm not talking about voices. Oh, you're talking about what he's I'm saying. talking about the content. <laughs> I hate sleeping alone. What would Joe? We do know you hate sleeping alone. Fam, seriously. Oh shit! I oh, this is up. a great record. I don't care. It is a great record. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking about the chorus. Yeah, it's a great record. I'm, I'm laughing if you sing that, Joe. Yeah. You can't sing that, Joe. Do y'all hate sleeping alone? No. No. <laughs> I, love, I love sleeping alone. If I, I'll actually, if I'll, I have a preference. I actually, actually, I might I might remake that record. I love sleeping alone. I love, I love sleeping, sleeping alone. alone. Every time you leave in the morning, I get the best sleep ever. <laughs> Word, when she has to leave super early, you get Every them extra you, two you hours. Don't hog the covers. <laughs> don't got to be lovers. I might body that. I might, I might body that. You should do it. Try it. Fuck. You it. never know. You never know. I could do it. Me and me and Drake squashed it. You know what I mean? Me and Drake <laughs> squashed it. Me and Drizzy. <laughs> oh, me and Drizzy. <laughs> when a <the> nigga stuck <laughs> he Drizzy. Yeah, now he Drizzy. <laughs> now he Drizzy. Wait, Wait how, how, how'd that combo go? I didn't. I mean, didn't have a combo. Oh. So, so, wait, y'all didn't speak? Come on, man. You want me to, what you want me to snitch? Just kind of curious how the comment. I mean, just, just a gist. If you that's snitched for like 10 <laughs> diss records. You snitched for 143 <laughs> episodes of the Joe no, Button that, podcast. That's because he was offending me, but now he is supporting me. So He's been supporting you. Not when he said, pump, pump it up. Pump, yeah, pump was, it up. Got a good head. Oh, you mean head, after, you, after you after you said, did 45 minutes uh, of dissing him? I, yeah. You, turn into you mean in response? Yeah. 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 You mean in response to what you were saying with a, no. a baggy wife beater on, sweating with a uh, a beanie on? On a podcast? Yeah. I got to give Drake a round of applause. That nigga kind of broke my media career on a low. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't going to lie. Drake Yo. broke my media career. That was the podcast that kind of got it lit. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, that we, was, we was by out after that. Yeah, we was off to the races, nigga. We ain't need to critique nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't need to critique nothing else. <laughs> hey, thanks, Drake. Uh, anyway, now you support me now, so our beef is squashed. But you would have shot me if I was singing that hook. For sure. Yeah, 100%. Glad you know it. Um, well, what about the Miss Officer one? Would you go and pretend to be a siren? Hey, wait, let's not get off of that now. Y'all trying to just keep the jokes on me. So no one in this room has role played. Parks is definitely role play. I don't role play. No, I don't. I don't. Role You've play. never role play. No, I never role play. Rory, have you ever role played? I have not. Chris Brown, have you ever role played? Rory has definitely act like he was snow in farmer. You know, you know, I lick him up on that. Rory definitely snow. Rory is snow. I have that song. He's definitely done that in the bedroom before. Body in that song. Rory has definitely done that in the bedroom before. I don't have it. Yeah, Rory, yeah, Rory, Rory's role play. What are you gonna do, Chris Brown? If you role play, what are you gonna do? <laughs> no, Savon, if you role play, what's gonna do, man? Ice, if you role play, nah. Ice, R- Ice is definitely is... role played as the genius Ice bar guy. Walk- <laughs> 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 Wait, is that 
that nigga don't get the fuck out of here. That nigga no. Ice has definitely <laughs> been. Do you not know your heart watch? Heart. Pardon me, ma'am. What, heart, seems, heart. what seems to be the problem? <laughs> Can I fix your hardware? <laughs> what seems to be the problem? <laughs> Oh, it's not refreshing. <laughs> oh, it must be something with your cookies. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Guess I'll put that back in the box. <laughs> oh, listen, all right. So I've uh, role played way more than the room. So yes, maybe that's why maybe that's why I know Envy can't pull off Maxwell <laughs> and Barack. I knew it was off that the bitch started asking me to role play mad dark skin niggas. <laughs> All right, beat Dwayne Wade. Bitch, no. <laughs> uh, how? <laughs> Fuck, you want me to dunk something? Like, what, what, what do you how want do that? You, how do you beat Dwayne Wade? Tell me how to be. See, that's your, what I'm saying. You got to listen to the request, though. Like, dig yeah, into the crazy. request. Like, why you want me to be Dwayne Wade? Or, Yo, you know, then I did knew. Did you buy his jersey? <laughs> like, you would have to. Wait, no, nah, then I knew it was awful. Come in with a Yo, wait, hold on. <laughs> you would have to. <laughs> Go run a lap or two yeah. before you come. I love fuck Dwayne Wade up. <laughs> Why? I'm not buying this because why I gotta be him. How else would you be Dwayne Wade? <laughs> Role playing. I don't know. Well, I think this was the year he he went off in the playoffs. You would have to go off in the bedroom. That's my point. <laughs> and then my sex was trash, so that's definitely not happening. <laughs> See? Hey, after 35, you don't give a fuck about good sex. <laughs> Sorry. Speak for yourself, brother. I just nigga, shut up. <laughs> but listen, this that y'all might be right about me being a hater, because this one I know maybe I was I was hating a little bit. Like bitch start asking you to role play certain niggas, you start hating on them. Like, Go ahead, be Boris Kojo. Man, you got herpes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then she replied. Wait, then she replied. Like, Give me herpes. <laughs> oh, yo. No. No. <laughs> Rory definitely fucked somebody with herpes. Though. I fucked Rory, someone. What? Rory is definitely the nigga to make sure it's not an outbreak. <laughs> and now, that's and wild. now we cool. That's Hell a common thing. No, no it that's ain't. A common no. thing. In Jersey City. In Jersey City. I, you be fucking in Jersey City, not me. What is this move? Yeah. What? Word. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is that going Jersey on. That Jersey City lot is funny. I don't expect nobody to laugh at that unless you went to Snyder in the 90s. But that was funny. <laughs> Any, <laughs> anyway. She go well, to Snyder now and get that. Well, no, I hear Snyder's good now. No, no outbreak. <laughs> <laughs> I got checked. Snyder's Wait, been outbreak what were we free. talking about before that herpes? Oh, yeah. No, anytime you said that to, to a chick that Boris Kojo got herpes, she was like, you lying for real? When he said it. And at that point. When just, he said it. At this point, you just keep going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you ain't get that interview? Yeah, he who said else, that shit two years ago. I've role played as a few niggas, but I mean, that was four score and seven have, have years ago. Have you like ago. met these gentlemen afterwards? Not did it come up? Ne- what is <laughs> nigga? No, <laughs> Rory, you're a weirdo. I'm joking. No, I'm not gonna talk. Oh, about oh Rory's the weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, honestly, I think I think it's a travesty that so many of of the men in this room are inexperienced sexually. I don't think that makes that me far, inexperienced man. sexually because I've never role played. Every time I feel like every time we have kind of one of these talks, you come up with how it's not cool, and then I'm like, "Damn, Maul's really not living out here." <laughs> like if you, no, Texas I'm is living. not the place to try. You've to be never cool. been Barack Obama in bed. You yeah, are I'm not, not living. living. Yeah, then I'm not living, bro. And there's a few niggas that Maul could be. <laughs> relax, <laughs> relax. Everybody, relax. So you don't want to talk about that? Nah. But you could you could buy it. No. <laughs> so what if a chick you liked really wanted you to role play? I'm not with that type of shit, man. <laughs> so you're not into doing whatever to please her? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm but I'm not role playing. I'm not about to walk around like and start talking like some other niggas. <laughs> <laughs> type of shit is that? That's why I don't understand that. That's just crazy to me. That's weird shit. All right, what a what a like a cop or a cowboy? Bro, I'm from I'm, New York I'm, City. I've never I'm even just, seen a cowboy if he wasn't at the 40 yard line. No, what the fuck you talking about? What if a chick wanted to date like a thug, like a felon? Nigga, I am a thug. Nigga. I know. That's what what you I'm going to be me, nigga. You wouldn't get into your Grand Concourse flow? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't. I'm asking. I'm asking. What is a you Grand? No, no, no. What is it? What is it? Because you got a lot of little shots you be throwing at my hood, man. What is the Grand Concourse you know, flow? Grand, if you just drive Grand Concourse yeah. long enough, you're going to see a lot. <laughs> you will. You're going to see a whole You no, absolutely will. Hey, that night we got arrested over there. Was that you I was arrested with in the Bronx? 
Was we ever arrested in the Bronx? Yeah. Yes. In the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, when they put us in a little paddy wagon and took us down to Grand Concourse, I was looking out the little back window. I was like, this is a nice little trip. <laughs> <laughs> he would be saying that. It's That's mad crazy. shit to see out of this shit. Until you get to the bookings. Nah, until the fucking bum ass driver hit the brake. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, now the Dominican Yo. nigga laying on Yo. you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and this nigga been in the back of the paddy wagon cuffed full and the nigga hit the brake? Oh, man, it's uncomfortable back there. And now they split them. I didn't know. That was my first time. They split the back. Oh, wow. So it was me and Maul and Hector I never, I never did the paddy on wagon. one side. And on the other side, it was some niggas. Mm-hmm. They was falling, too. The regular <laughs> cop car is rough. That shit is like, I'm 6'5", so it's like here. Dog, the Yo, regular was- cop car for me, and I'm 5'9", is too yeah, small. Yeah, that shit is. Brutal. Yo, yo, you need five nine. I would have never became friends with you. That's, that's just don't, have, don't ever say that. Don't say I'm five nine. <laughs> Why you care about my you height? Seem taller because that's trash. <laughs> five nine is ass, my nigga. Royce is five nine. That's trash. <laughs> <laughs> Royce say all the time he wish he was tall. <laughs> oh, I knock a nigga out of five. We got it, Royce. Uh, uh, let, wait, the, is any one of y'all sleepers dissing somebody? No, no. All right, good. Just making sure. I got a weird phone call earlier today. <laughs> About from who? From Royce. Saying what? Saying that uh, somebody else heard that I, that, oh, somebody else heard that I was going to play a diss record from a local act toward them. Huh. Hmm? What? I was like. Damn, I play R and B, my nigga. <laughs> like, that don't even sound like something about? you would ever do. I'm more yeah, curious. Yeah. Him and her. Let nobody. Joe's just... gonna play some locals. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, and Joe hates like, locals. Royce is my brother, so he, he called me to you know talk about that. And I was like, shit. If anything, that would be more. <laughs> For <laughs> real, because you know Rory ain't playing. Rory on on his barefoot swag. That's no. a fact. I would. I would. Maul gonna play the hardest shit out of Buffalo. So I'm, yeah, I wouldn't. I, if I played, I wouldn't know that it's a diss track. To somebody like I wouldn't know some personal shit. Hey, and let me just say, I see every time I say that, I see like it's like three niggas from Buffalo that hit me like, "Yo, you got to stop shit on Buffalo." I don't say that to shit on Buffalo. I've gotten plenty of money in Buffalo. I've, I like Buffalo. No, there's a whole Shout YouTube. Buffalo, there's a whole YouTube conspiracy video on you hating Buffalo that I saw in my no. Mentions. That was one. There was one thing I that remember was, that show. Yeah, we was at that. Sh- yeah, that yeah. show was ass. My no, nigga. the show was great. There was just an opener that took issue with a joke that you tweeted or some shit. What, what this opener's ass I mean <laughs> he was probably ass <laughs> yeah but you can't yeah, you yes, tweet you can. that while he's on stage yes, yes you can why not yes you can tweet that while he's on that. stage why not? But, I do that all the time. Man, but when you, you do, do that, that niggas, niggas act like you are insulting the city no nigga I'm insulting you you are a bum yeah but you can't do that while he's on stage why not Shit. I'm still trying to get why not you can't do that man. tell me why Cause you can't, man. You were artist. Things you, you was just, probably yeah, ass on stage once, do, and I was. Sure. You know, why? you know the problem. Still ain't That's the more. fucking problem in the world. If I was trash. Don't I want a nigga to tell me I'm trash? I yeah, mean, but you don't want Not you don't want way. the nigga that you opening up for backstage tweeting out to however that was hundreds upstairs. of thousands of followers that he has on social media that he's trash. No, that's you cool. saying it in your dressing room is different. You no, no, putting no, no, it no. out to the world is oh, a whole different okay, thing. Okay, but you are going an independent point. My point is. That's not an indictment on the city of on on the city. He could what, be, he what, could what be the city. that nigga in the city. But you could, nah, or, or you could. Is that what you said? This nigga's trash, or did you say like? Nah, it was like a joke about the song itself. I think yeah, the I, song I was funny, yeah. and the nigga uh, switched the narrative as if I was performing in Buffalo and uh, insulting the entire Buffalo. And then apparently he was supposed uh, supposed to be some street nigga. So then he was supposed to have the building surrounded at the end. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's why you don't tweet that. The building, <laughs> the building wasn't surrounded, and it, we just but it could have walked been. out. It just wasn't because it, he in, wasn't the in, guy in, to have Buffalo. The it easily could have been. That shit yeah. was a fun night. I went what do you think? Course. We ain't got no niggas in Buffalo. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Tell just, me you think I don't have niggas in it's Buffalo. It's not worth. Tell the me tweet. you think I don't have niggas. It's not. I'm worth asking the, you a I new question. I don't care now. who you got oh, in Buffalo. Okay. I'm just saying it's not worth it. No, 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 no. But now I'm just on some man pride shit. Shout out to Buffalo. Shout out to man pride. Shout out to Benny. That's my nigga, man. Benny came to Harlem like a couple weeks ago, kicked it with me. Love Buffalo. Mm. Yeah, that's my nigga, man. Fuck with Benny. That's when did, when did you grounds, when did you get this bit. chain? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga go. And farmer. Go ahead. Go ahead, Snow. Get into your shit. <laughs> Wait, why is this on me? Because you laughed. <laughs> you can't laugh. 
Uh, what I, I support Benny Conway and Westside. Those right, are my guys. Let's see what else. Do we care about? Uh, do we care about drama and Uzi? Uh, no. Oh, the tweet that they put up. Yeah, hey, I, I, the, I, back back to the up? Twitter thing. Be, people beefing on Twitter that that are once friends or are friends is corny to me. Well, like why? if y'all have my number, who said me. it was friends? He signed, signed and, that, and that's enough too. Sometimes you want to sub a nigga whose number you have. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Or if they're on stage. Come on, all this extra responsible, mature shit, everybody. It's cool to sub a nigga sometimes. Who you subbing, Rory? (laughs) No, this is about Uzi and drama. Oh. All right, but he asked you, so you don't sub nobody? No. Never. Maybe have in the past. Not Mm, not in the past few years, though. I maybe have have. in the past. That sounds like fucking uh, Jose, uh, Jose, uh, Whatever on the stand when they ran uh, took the steroids. steroids. Yeah, yeah. That's what am like I going to write a tell-all sub book later? At some point, <laughs> that's like when that's like when the, uh, the reporter asked Trump if he was racist, and Trump said, "I am the least the, the racist, racist person, person you've ever interviewed." That's no. not answering the question. <laughs> 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 you're just saying you're the least racist person. That's, that's crazy. You're saying you're racist. Yeah, like, that's what are you crazy. talking about? Like, <laughs> what did y'all think about the um, missile, the missile in Hawaii report shit? Oh, the, uh, the the uh, text that went out to all the people. Why yeah, are you gonna the, bomb Hawaii by mistake? <laughs> the mistake Ask the text Japanese that, went that out. Parks. <laughs> Well, that's a good point. That's trash. You know, they're so close to uh, North Korea, so I mean, yeah, but it's just people chilling out there drinking fucking mai tais. Yeah, it's like what, what on, are they? They're not, but Hawaii. I feel like Hawaii doesn't bother anybody. anybody. Like anybody. <laughs> I know. I just learned that Dill wants to eventually move to Hawaii. <laughs> I can see that. I can see. He be wearing some colorful. No, 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 no. I can one hundred percent see Dill moving to Hawaii. But once he said it, and I got past the shock of it, I was like, "Yo, you are Hawaiian. One hundred percent. You should be in Hawaii. You look like one of them Samoan. Dill would definitely should, open up like a bar. Fight. He would open a bar on the beach and yeah, just be grill, little grill bar, grilling Dills. <laughs> there you go. You like that, Joe, right? Where did you get this new sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my, you know, you I don't have my shit, so I got to, you know what I mean? But, pow. You definitely can role play. Hey, see, you can go with this role play shit, man. <laughs> oh, wait. What could, what, could he, what could he be with this pow noise? <laughs> Nobody. Go Next. Where we at? Sleepers? <laughs> Nobody with this pow like, noise. No, like, <laughs> Saget? No. <laughs> like, some no. superheroes. Somebody. No, no. I'm just saying. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Y'all don't care about Chris Brown and Jacquees' tape that's coming out. Chris Brown needs to sit down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, listen, man. Oh. Y'all got to talk to your boy. I just got to talk to this man. Did y'all listen to the Davies joint? Do y'all think that's not ruining his, heard his legacy at all, doing all these random mixtapes with people? I mean, I think, just the amount of music think, he's putting out in general is crazy. I'm going to quote the great Donald Trump and say this is the least <laughs> damage that Chris Brown will do to his career <laughs> is putting out this mixtape. I will say, this is what I will say to all the Nicki Minaj fans out there who have tweeted me to say how often Chris Brown posts his accolades. I agree with y'all. <laughs> it's trash when he does it too. I don't, I don't, it's not a difference to me. I, it looks bad. I used to defend it. It don't look bad. Come on, tell the truth. He do it too much. Yeah, you do it too much. You got to chill out a little bit. Like, we get it. You pimp the system. You won. Your whole little rigged, put out a shitload of music. All right. Well, Joe did that. I'm just cool with it because the music is dope. The difference is when the other person does it, the music ain't dope. Wait, what did I do on Everyday Struggle? Posted accolades of the numbers dropping. Whose numbers? Oh, Everyday Struggle? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's great. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was awesome to do. <laughs> Shit, I'm waiting for them to air again. Yeah, my, my my thing with Chris is it's easy to overlook that shit because the music dope. The second the music stopped being dope, then I got a problem. Listen, don't ever don't call him Chris, niggas. Last name is one syllable. You can say Brown. You can say it's Chris. I might think about it with Chris. I hate when chicks do that too. I feel no, like you I hate when they use the government names of dudes that you don't need the government name for. Listen, That'd be chick, the worst. If a chick is called... Never mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead. Never mind. No, no, say it. Never mind. I want to hear it. If a chick is calling Chris Brown Chris... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about Ice calling Chris Brown Chris. <laughs> like, say the nigga first name. It ain't like... Uh, his his name is his stage Kevin name. Kevin Spacey shit. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. He liked that album too much. Uh, he heard that No Exit song. <laughs> 
How can we ever have a sponsor in this podcast? Is what I want to know. Uh, y'all don't think about that. Like sometimes when you go to bed, like yeah, we'll never get money from this podcast. <laughs> yes, more often <laughs> and, and than the, I'd like. Ah. I actually can't go to sleep because of it. That's funny. It's been how many years? <laughs> and I've only spent money. <clears throat> no, we are gonna get some money soon. How soon? <laughs> <laughs> and did you say that as a joke? Because you did that soundbite. No, we all y'all don't think we're gonna get money soon. I, I'm praying every night. Because I'm two steps away from bu- booking this bus ticket to Mexico. <laughs> I'm going to Hawaii with Dill. <laughs> I've only been asking y'all for six months how much you're going to charge. <laughs> how much you going to charge? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what what you mean? Let's get to it. I just want some money. I got a brick from mall. <laughs> what? <laughs> you want no fucking brick? Oh, no. now you <laughs> don't want a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no fucking oh, brick. Oh, na- oh, wait. All right, all right. Podcast, right. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm kidding. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> That's our sponsor right there. What, a brick? Yeah. The Connect? The Connect. Shit. Yeah. If the plug is paying. Uh, <laughs> oh, speaking of the Connect, is is uh is Stars really off of power? They're scaring me with all this shit. I think it is. I mean, power off of Stars for Optimum. Yeah, I think I got is. Optimum. Well, at least my remote says Optimum somewhere Stars on Stars has it. the ads now on every cable shit. So you got Verizon. Huh? You got Verizon. You ain't got Optimal? Oh, I don't give a fuck then. How <laughs> <laughs> like, the fuck is this nigga talking I think that about? Only affects, yeah, I think that only affects... What, it's only people TV? that got Optimal. Oh, only Optimal? Yeah. What? Yeah, all right. See, this is the problem. All right. Let me, let, me, let me share some of my ignorance here. I have Verizon Files. Somewhere in my head, Verizon Optimum Files. <laughs> Sounds like it you goes. You just merge into yeah. companies. I mean, all this shit sounds the same yeah, now, so I feel you. I, feel you. I swear the word Optimum shit. is on my files remote somewhere. <laughs> it's not. It's not? No, it's not. Yeah. I thought all cable was Optimum. That and was like y'all dope. T- <laughs> Yo, wait. And y'all telling me Ice don't role play as the genius bar guy. <laughs> <laughs> How you know? Oh, no, no. Look at the remote. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I am. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Yo, y'all, real, y'all lives are trash, my nigga. Honestly, hey, thanks. There's so. a lot of shit that thanks. y'all have never nothing. Thank you. I'm never doing that shit you're talking. I did about. a lot of shit. I just ain't role play. I've never no, been no, Dwayne Wade, man. But more would role play as something trash like the yellow Voltron cat. <laughs> 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 no, Scooby Doo, Scooby, not Scooby, even Scooby, Scooby, Scrabby. Scooby Doo, you would be Scrabby. <laughs> you, you would be Scrabby. Oh, you sound oh, like Scrabby. <laughs> Your mom would definitely be in Starlet. Oh no, 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 no! In Starlet, <laughs> in Starlet, <laughs> in costume. <laughs> Why would I be talking about Jinkies? Holy Why shit. would I be in Starless doing Wait, it? Yo, yo I ain't gonna lie. I used to get hype when, that, when she said Jinkies. I was like, ah, she got you niggas. <laughs> she got you niggas. <laughs> All right, where's my fucking phone? Uh, yo, this is a... Y'all are funny. Y'all, y'all funny are today. funny. I like when y'all have a good week and we can come in here and laugh. Oh, so uh, Highline Ballroom Monday, 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 Monday. Hit the air horn on these niggas. This shit is shaping up to be be dope. And, I mean, that's really all I could say without giving shit away. So if you are going to be in the building Monday night at Highline Ballroom, enjoy your time. Uh, if you're not, then you're shit out of luck. And that's about all I got. I will be making my spoken word debut. I've been writing all week for this. Shit. That was, was, that a, was that another I'm uh, telling you, Maul can role play. Maul can role play. Between the pow and the... <laughs> but, no, you joking around, but... Listen, if you want to get up there and do some spoken word. Can I play the bongos? You need bongos if you got fire spoken yeah, word. you got the bongos. Shit. If the game is good enough. I, if the game is good enough and bounce, the nigga with the bon- com- bongos come out. <laughs> Start walking around. <laughs> yo, yo, when the nigga with the bongos. Yo, you like that shit because that's like the third time you referenced that dude in bounce with the bongos. Like, nah, because you know. You definitely walked in and stood next to him and started grooving one night. Let I'm me, sure you did. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I know. I've taken them shit from him <laughs> <laughs> and, and played them. But what I'm saying is this. This is why I reference it a lot. Because in bounce, the game's beyond the women... There's a lot of women out, and you go in there and you be trying to get in your bag. So I go in there, I see like niggas, athletes with money trying to get in their bag. The music is loud, and then the bongo nigga goes, Yo, my nigga, that is the worst music to ever get. 
Stop talking to her. Yeah. When he comes out. She can't hear you. <laughs> not, not only that, she want to go play the bong. She, <laughs> yo, women are always so thrilled by that. Yeah. Like, oh, it's a musical talent. Yeah. Homeboy do be getting busy in Valve, though. Um, is he going to be at Oh, What a Night? He got a slot? No, he is. No, 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 no. I'm good, um, I'm good plus seven, right? Yeah, got a trick. You show up with all your little Henny Palooza friends. Yeah. You and Low Key. I see Low trying it's, to go. Each, each of them are going to have a plus one, too. Low, I see you trying to go baldy in a beard now. You're late. Oh, you late on the jokes of the group chat. You are That's so all we've been late, Low. What the fuck? It's 2018, <laughs> and you try to come out like, you tried to present it. That's the problem. Uh, he, he, <laughs> he, got the, he got the baldy a while ago, though. Yeah, but he be going nah, back and forth sometimes. Nah. Oh, he was pump fake? Nah, he was, he was hat fish. Yeah, Low was hat Low was the original hat fish. Nah, he not the before original Pat, hat before fish. Before Pat fish, yeah. No. <laughs> before Pat fish. It was somebody else that we used to kill when we seen without their hat. Damn, who was it? Low wasn't letting you see him without a hat. Hey. Was it Icy? D- is Icy? Is, is Icy he, okay? Is he hat fish? I ain't seen Icy I in a minute. Seen He's probably on Steinway right now. I haven't seen or heard from Icy in, in, sure. I in, feel like in, I haven't in even years. Seen a tweet. And I just hung up with Bills. <laughs> yeah, nah, he, he cool. He was posting on Instagram last night. Damn, dude. What did he block me or something? Was it beef? <laughs> probably don't see it. No, I mean, on the story, you probably ain't see it. No, I'm only watching these stories, my nigga. I didn't watch it either. I'm just saying, no, no, no. So you. he all right. He like was, a nigga posting on Instagram, he all right. You, like, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Somehow I think we've covered everything that I wanted to cover. Y'all be, the shit that I be thinking is important, y'all gloss gloss right over. The missile in Hawaii, we talked about for yeah. a second. Y'all don't care about nothing important. Thank God we don't have a news podcast. Yeah, niggas ain't even get uh, that seal and Oprah shit. Skipped over. But now we talked about. Yes, we did. No, nah, we, we no. kind of just played we, the song. Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling yeah, we you, did not go into Maul that. and Rory are not as hot as they think they are, man. They don't. They they skip over all the good shit. I'm still hot. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna be hot when I follow you home? <laughs> Pause. Y'all don't see the lock on that chain. I do. We could jump that nigga. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, train. oh, so listen, I want to shout out to uh, Dapper Dan, of course. Uh, I think it's open in Harlem. Come on, Maul. You're supposed to be I don't know. I don't think it's not. It's not open yet, I don't think. I don't think well, it's open. The billboard is up that yeah. everyone Instagrammed. Yeah, they talk. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, that was the new Louis V exhibit. It's happening. It's a big, it's a nah, big deal for Harlem. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. That's great. It's, it's long overdue, but, you know, listen, man. It's, you know, we're just grateful that they acknowledge Dapper Dan while he's still here. You know what I mean? And, yeah, Dap is seventy two years old. That's why I'm just Jeez. I'm just happy they acknowledged him and gave him this. Why he's and still here? He looks in better shape than all of us. Right. He's still fresh to death in a fucking suit every day, and them Gucci frames he had on looked amazing. I am happy. I I am happy about about this, uh, uh, especially with this uh, the new trend of uh, you know the hybrid merging of. You know, Kith and this person. Yeah, but that's Supreme. what I'm saying. We the, good to see one the originator, one one of the originators. We are the originators, and that's why it's, it's great to see that you know they they are, these big corporations are starting to give us our credit, and they're starting to pay homage, especially with Dapper. I mean, people knew that for years that well, Dapper Dan was the guy. Well, that's why social media is so is so important today because. I don't know if without the social the social response mm-hmm. to Gucci doing that shit. That Dap gets this look. Yeah, no, they, it definitely helps. The social media thing, uh, it definitely helps because it's people that are, you know, not only in New York City can start pushing for it and can start speaking about it. So the story grows legs and it reaches different places. But I'm just happy, man, that Dapper Dan is finally getting his credit and you know, word. all praises to him. Yeah, word, Dap, love you, really, really happy and really proud. It's a big deal, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, I feel like there was some more. Happy shit I want. Oh, homegirl from the Cranberries died. That Jeez. hit me. I know yeah. I know some people don't care about that. Yeah. That one hit me. I didn't realize that they were that big. They had a lot of hits. I know, but I didn't realize that they were right underneath um U two or somebody for like record songs. <laughs> that might That's be crazy. true. They're it's, they're it's international crazy. too. So. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I I was like, damn, that's a stat. Yeah. That's a stat. Um Anything else happen important in the, in the news that that we need to do? the playoffs? The playoffs? What y'all think about the games? The games. Yeah, the games were all actually really good. Yeah. Uh, Ice, you have anything to add? Yeah. What's up? Um, the games are great. That's it. <laughs> Fuck it. It's, it's a different basketball season. It's a different color scheme. We picked this this evening. I told Ice that the Jags was going to beat the Steelers. Didn't I? You did. I said that too. 
Y'all all said that actually. Yeah. yeah. Everybody said that. I don't think feel like that was a popular pick. It wasn't. Parks it wasn't. maybe said that. You said that too, Rory. Definitely did. I tweeted all my picks. All right. I was wrong on two of them, but Ooh. that was the only uh, one. I, was wrong I thought on. the Falcons were going to get the Eagles, and I thought the Saints were going to get the uh, Vikings, and they were both almost. I had right. the same same picks as Parks. Oh, so you trashed it. Uh, give me <laughs> a, give me a, uh, your Super Bowl pick. Shit, I, I can't bet against the Patriots, so I'm gonna say Patriots Vikings. Although I do like, I want the Jags to win, and I think they can win, but I'm not betting. Relax, the you said the Pats. Don't try to jump on yeah, my but... answer. Uh, Maul, you're a Pats fan, so of course you have the Pats versus the Vikings. I'm a Kaepernick fan. <laughs> oh, your spoken word is gonna be crazy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, no, no. Maul's gonna give me a spoken word set. No, for real. What do I have? To, I'm, what's, your, what's your What's your fee? I'm just saying. I have not, <laughs> what's bro. Your I fee? have literally not. Watched a football game all year. But you are still a Patriots fan. I'm not. I threw oh, that card in. I'm not supporting none of that oh, NFL wait, shit. Wait, wait, wait. All right. This is... All right. I didn't know that. I'm not playing when, when you I did said that. that. You, you, you said say that. this every week when Maul says he doesn't watch the NFL every I single week. I have not watched that, the game, bro. That doesn't address his fan fear. Yeah, no, I have not. I'm not rooting I for cannot, no NFL team. I really haven't watched football all season either, but I'm a Giants fan still. You know I'm what I mean? Not, I'm not supporting no NFL teams, man. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm just Is not. this all behind the Kaepernick? Yes. Shit? That's blatant. The NFL does not fuck with players that stand up for social injustice. Let me say, you know, this is what I what I will say. Jamel, Jamel Hill, friend of the show who who we love. Uh she's been on my show, I've been on hers. She had, she tweeted yesterday, and and this was shady and it was petty, but it needed to be said. She, she tweeted a meme of, you know, one of them funny looking faces. And she said, seeing all of the people, quote, uh, MLK, that had a problem with Colin Kaepernick's very nonviolent protests. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Which I laughed at, but she was 100% correct, right? But then this morning, this morning I'm, I'm, I'm driving, and, and if you know me, you know I only listen to uh, uh, talk radio. I'm listening to ESPN Radio, and Humpty and Canny is on there. And this is the 10 a.m. Uh, New York ESPN Radio show with Chris Canny, who I love. Uh, and Chris Canny was pointing out how his co-host failed to even make mention of Martin Luther King Day yesterday. Chris Canny's a black man. Mm-hmm. And he was saying, yo, you failed to make mention of this when I reminded you before we walked in. Mm-hmm. And you... Said you talked about everything in the world but that, and the guy and 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 Humpty was saying, "Well, we can we can talk about it now. What is Martin Luther King not relevant today? We can we can spend thirty seconds on it now." That was his defense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then he went on to fucking basically ridicule fucking uh Canty for even wanting to discuss it. Still, I was really offended. I almost called in. So I mean. I understand what you're saying. I, I support. I didn't know that you were that. And when did that? When did you get that in, invested in that? At the start of top of the season was yeah. Like, when this it, year, yeah. When Kaepernick, when they was ousted like that, and it was blatant, like no team is signing him, and he's clearly capable. He's better than a lot of these quarterbacks that are playing now. It's just blatant that though they they not fucking with you. Imagine, not, okay. they don't Imagine him on that Jaguars team. They don't Ooh. fuck. They don't fuck with us. They do not. They they do not care. If we're not making money for them, they don't give a fuck what we standing up for, what we believe in. They don't care. Do you think that's isolated to just football? I, I in think sports it's, anyway. Well, I mean, a, we like basketball. Yeah, but but and see, they But I can more, only go on. Okay, now with the Donald Sterling with with the Donald Sterling shit, right? When when um with the Clippers mm-hmm. when that happened, you saw how fast some other owners came out. It was like, no, he got to go. Like, and they got him up out of there. Like uh, other owners came out and was like, "Oh, he's tripping." Like, right, I got, a, I got a question. That doesn't necessarily mean that they don't share his views. No, but what I'm saying is, other right. teams. That means he's other, stopping the money, right? No, but other teams. No, I mean it could be that, but other teams, they were they were supporting their players' stance on it. Like you know, what I'm saying like we're standing with our guys. Like we understand how they're offended by that, and we to 100 percent stand behind our players. Mm-hmm. Other NFL owners and teams didn't come out and say that about Colin Kaepernick. Got it. They didn't. They didn't support him. And and the Clippers like that's protested blatant. afterwards a as well. A couple yeah, did, but not yeah, many. The Clippers and, did and protest. Players like LeBron have been very vocal and not at least tried to be silenced. Yeah, the NBA like, has been very 
yeah. supportive of the opinions of the players. Colin Kaepernick is just they the NFL just completely turned their back on him. Like, you can't support that. I mean, I get it though. It's hard because for so many years people have been invested in sports on uh, football on Sundays and the Super Bowl and all this shit. But at some point, you just got to be like, all right, man. Like they, they these people clearly don't give a fuck about me. Why do I give a fuck about them? It's just that simple. Like, why am I so invested? In something where they don't give a fuck. If I can't pay my rent tomorrow, none of these fucking owners are going to help me or help anybody that looks like me get a job, any of this shit. So why am I supporting this? Why am I buying these jerseys? Why am I tuning in? Why am I betting on games? Like, all this shit. Like, fuck that. Wait, you was buying jerseys? What you mean? I People buy football role jerseys. <laughs> Last week, we were supporting change clothes. <laughs> now you want to buy jerseys. Who? Change clothes, the whole song. I was I don't buy jerseys. jerseys. No more. I do. I was at I had a jersey on it. Yeah, but you've been trash for a long time. Absolutely. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, but you've been trash for a long time. <laughs> there are. Um, I think I covered everything. I don't care about anything else. Is there something coming this week that's important? Not that I can think of. Oh, what a night! Oh, what a night is coming. That's Monday. <clears throat> the Grammys should be the week after that. Oh, they announced the performers for the Grammys. Cardi. We knew Cardi would be there. Bruno. Uh, I thought it was somebody else that we were supposed to be excited about, no? I don't even know if I saw that. Yeah, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> we got sleepers? No, before we get into sleepers, uh, I feel like mad music came out that we didn't just dis- didn't discuss. We Banks has been on a roll. Huge roll. He killed I know that nobody is beat. saying it, but Banks is angry, and he's rapping like he's angry. And I don't mean his his level of ability because we know that exists. I mean his content. He's addressing all of these niggas that he hates, and I wish that more of the older niggas would address the niggas that they hate. It makes rap much more fun. Honestly, <laughs> no, I agree though. Mature Banks is dope though. There's definitely a lot more substance <clears throat> and content. I mean, as much as we all love the PLK bars to death punchline stuff like this is really dope to hear that ability of rapping with more shit behind it yeah uh that I, soul food freestyle he did is is phenomenal if if you haven't checked out the five or six that he's put out in the past month you should check every out. new york nigga wants to rap over that soul food beat they yeah, do it's a great beat they do um really enjoyed los's uh mixtape as well uh, i think that flew under the radar royce went crazy on that song Royce is crazy. Royce, Royce, <laughs> Royce, man. Royce is crazy. Yeah, I don't think Royce is crazy. I know. I yeah. I think Royce is crazy. Would have to be. You have to be crazy. I was in Detroit for a year and a half. I saw Royce once. <laughs> 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 that let me know that Royce was crazy. Royce is one hundred. And we spoke to each other like every other day. <laughs> I'm like Royce, what are you doing? Prime is coming. Prime two. Prime two is coming. That shit is hard. Uh, and the video is coming too. Sorry, Booker, Royce. Book of Ryan is coming. Spoon. Mm. Hold up, man. Let me Book of Ryan. Yeah, I might be. I might be more excited for Let me Royce's hit, hit the air horn on. <laughs> Damn! Come on, Roy. Give the, my fucking air horn back, man. The book. Give me my air horn back. <laughs> the book of Ryan, man. Is that the air horn? Oh, there we go. Sorry, Royce. Yeah, Royce has music planned, planned, locked and loaded, ready, ready and coming. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm Hell looking yeah. forward to hearing it. Uh, Dave East dropped, right? Yeah, yeah, last night. I haven't. Oh. I, was it last night? Yeah, well, yeah. Was this, midnight, whatever. Was it a quote unquote surprise or was this announced prior? No, it was no, 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 it was it was announced. Paranoia. Too. Was was this outside the radar of Def Jam? Because I feel no, like I was Def Jam. even being someone that pays attention and who likes Dave, I did not know this was coming out. Oh, well, I knew he's because Dave it. promotes a lot. Yeah, he's he's been posting it. But what I'm saying. Oh, I'm gonna ask a question that I've that I've <clears> asked <throat> a bunch on this podcast, and Dave, I fuck with you, but why do people keep releasing music under Def Jam currently? Like now is what I'm saying, not in the in a few months when there will be some type of order in the building, but now because <laughs> niggas got bills now. <laughs> That's a fact. Niggas got kids now. That's a fact. Okay. That's what it is, man. It. He's on tour, so that, that that sums that up. Keep it simple, man. 
Niggas gotta eat, man. Niggas ain't got time for labels to figure shit out. Niggas is like, I'll write, I'll make another album, but this shit going out. I don't give a fuck who in this office. Just saying, in a business where where perception is so important. I know when I was trying to get off of Def Jam, that's how they conned me into maybe not not doing it because I was deemed as coming off of a flop. So going to get another deal somewhere, I wouldn't get my I wouldn't get no the leverage. value I was I yeah. was looking for. So I yeah. mean that was a million years ago. So I mean today, well maybe that don't matter today. If you can produce today, then you can just produce. But if you're on a major, it, it's supposed to matter because you don't have that free reign depending on the major. Def Jam don't seem to be involved in all of these projects that are coming out. No, I, I, I feel <laughs> like oh, shit. I feel like they tried Honestly. to work that Chris Brown record for like a week and then didn't, and then that project. I don't want to say came and went, but I felt like there was no effort put into it from well, a promotion standpoint. Let me, no second single, and then you just move on to the next one. Well, let me be very clear. They put, they put, and this is no knock to anybody. They put very little thought on the structuring of that Chris Brown record. When you get Chris Brown for a feature, the song should not be over five minutes long. Mm. Hook was like sixteen bars. He, yeah, they gave yeah. Chris a lot of shine, a lot of shine on that that record for it to be a Dave record. I want to hear more Dave. And maybe we're hearing more Dave now because he realized that. Okay. I would just want the support of my building if I'm signed there anyway. Theoretically, that sounds good. I'm just glad to know that Def Jam is still a piece of shit. <laughs> For real, honestly, after all these years, it feels great. Just to, like looking at your ex-girlfriend one, and she's doing that. Oh, my God. Oh, you still, oh, you still doing that? Yeah, great. you are trash. <laughs> I am so glad that. Things went the way they did. Uh, all right, so is there anything else that we are missing? I, f- I feel like we've covered a good amount of shit. Um, no. Oh, I got to shout out K Forest. When it's all said and done, EP available now. K Forest, shout out to K Forest. I'm all gonna get his little pail. That's my nah, That's my guy. I, ain't, I, ain't <laughs> I wouldn't. We ain't, we ain't making a dollar over here. He might as well go over there. And ain't make no some payola. Money. <laughs> nah, that's my actually. Name. Matter of fact, more put me on to some payola. <laughs> nah, that's my How, how's, your, how's your how's your job search? It's good, man. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, got some things on the horizon. Some things. Whenever uh, a nigga say he got things on the horizon, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it's bad. I was gonna say the opposite. Yo, like, yo, he, had, he has zero on, on the horizon. The horizon. Get <laughs> when you even use the word like off. horizon, my nigga, <laughs> horizon is too close to horizon. Horizon is like across that. the street from Rory's old crib. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's actually uh, that where was the, the old, clinic, the old Jersey City <laughs> clinic. The that's old what, Jersey City that's Clinic. That's where Trey was born. <laughs> <laughs> Trey was not Horizon. born at the Horizon Clinic. <laughs> no. Oh my no, God. no, he wasn't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, get your jokes off now. No, but I will. I'll, I'll, I'll get off. It's going to end soon. Mm. I think my I think my mm. unemployment is ending soon, too. It me the air horn on these things. <laughs> Round of applause for my unemployment ending soon. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Fuck y'all. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> um... Oh, oh, real quick, I did want to make this point, too, on the sex robots point. This is how I know women are crazy. <laughs> y'all are hating on the sex robots. <laughs> I see y'all. Y'all are saying that niggas can't afford them. <laughs> 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 niggas, niggas is too broke to have a sex robot. I'm like, God damn, ladies, you guys are venomous. <laughs> how y'all hating on the sex robots? <laughs> now I want one. <laughs> um, hey, man, all right, I think that's it. I think we are finished here. Uh, do we have sleepers? We always are you gonna sleepers. play? Are you gonna play K Fox? K Forest, don't be disrespectful. K That's my Fox, <laughs> K Forest. Yeah, what happened to K Fox? I don't mean that a bad. I just after she left, <laughs> hot. He bro, he bro. What you did to K Fox though? Honestly, we know it's a. <laughs> why you? Why whenever you say hey, Ebro, Ebro name, you look at me? Ebro man. called me today. I, I'm not supposed to get with Ebro, but. Ebro, you got to give us the real K Fox scoop. Hmm. K Fox was alright too. Yeah, she was cool in the morning show. Cool in the morning, like that's what a nigga says when he says, <laughs> <laughs> like that's what he means when he says K Fox was alright. Yeah, <laughs> all right. fuck that morning yeah, show. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rory. All right, sleepers, come on, Rory. Give us some fucking barefoot music. That's some extra barefoot shit. What you gonna play? I mean, give them, give them that vibe in the new crib with the new view. Hey, that view is kind of crazy. I ain't never heard of a nigga being unemployed and moving to a better crib. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see what's going on in any Palooza. Listen, man. I said get your jokes off now. Uh, this is Craig David, Living a Moment, featuring Gold Link. Is the aux cord in? Hey, girl, all the way? So nice to meet you. 
Don't wanna come across eager But real talk, I'm feeling your features Your body shape got more bass than a speaker uh, And girl, I can see you're down But I ain't about to let that defeat ya Cause when you're down with me Forget all of your troubles And let's live in a moment When one door closes, another one opens So let's live in a moment No point holding, or two ones broken It's a good unemployment so song too Money gotta stop. Stop trying to control it. I start living in the moment. Is he saying to start living in the moment or stop? Start living in the moment. Oh, uh, he wants it to be a hoe. <laughs> yeah. Be spontaneous. I think it's time Earthy. you replace them with a young brother that will treat you amazing. Let me upgrade your day. We're all basic. Don't carry the weight of all of the problems you had yesterday. And Ryan Leslie could have owned this lane. He fucked up. This song is trash. So let's live in a moment. It is. Damn. Are y'all listening to the words of this song? This is one of the worst written songs I've heard. This ain't like it was written in 01. Relax, man. I'm saying, this is one of the worst written songs you ever heard? Are y'all listening to this shit? Oh, there's a rap verse? Who's this, DeVoe? Let's go, Link. Wait, this is the gold link that I keep hearing about? Look at this, this is the thing. You are, you are such a dick. This is ass. Craig David gonna snuff you. Man, Craig David don't want no smoke. And I like Craig David. You look like Craig David. You should let me control and put your mind to the side and put your heart in the boat. And tell your side and I promise I ain't losing the fool. And then women, and then women know you got dirty. What is this chance link? <laughs> what, what the chance fuck? Wale link? Oh man, man, turn this bullshit off. They gonna smoke both y'all. This is ass, man. That's living the nigga. No, you live in the moment. Make a current fucking record. <laughs> We ain't gotta play the second hook, Roy. Turn this shit off. Let's live in the moment. I just want to tell y'all. Did Craig David do something to you in no, O2? No, like, what sure. the fuck I'm, is going I'm, I'm on? I'm on the side sure. of the music. He definitely did something to you. So let's live. He let you off the Seven Days remix and put Mo's Death. So let's live in the moment. When one door closes, another opens. I spoke so word. let's live in. Uh, no! <laughs> you this is me. the hook that. Man, if you look at this bullshit, the fuck out. Give me this fucking aux score, man. Jesus Never Christ. let you go first again. Tough crowd. That, I've been that bodying you for three that years. Record is, <coughs> that was the first record Rory has ever played where I said, that is ass. No, well, I, I will agree. That is the first record where you've had such an uproar. <laughs> That was yeah, like, I'm going to say no. There's definitely, <laughs> there's definitely something personal. Right, yeah, like I didn't think the record was that bad. But when you, to the word. I'm inclined to w- w- want to roll with you now. In the, the second you, so- verse, the ni- the nigga said, uh, "Why don't you uh, uh, fuck with a young brother that's successful? Let me upgrade you." What year was this verse written? Honestly. I don't know, bro. I didn't. I We're didn't, not even saying. Let me I upgrade I you. That deep. <laughs> Word. Hey, Parks. That's a that's a regular feel good deep, record. Bro. I, I, yo, I mean, shit. <laughs> he analyzing this shit like it's loaded lux or some shit. <laughs> Sorry that I listen to words still. So, my my apologies. So listen to this, man. Uh, y'all gonna think I'm trolling. Y'all gonna think I'm trolling with my with my with my sleeper, but I'm not trolling. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Who Justin told you to play this week? <laughs> Him and his brother, the brothers, <laughs> the the Combses. I Justin could take more. I don't know. That nigga posted a little a little picture on the gram that said he wants some. Ass. Come on, relax. All right, everybody relax. I'm just saying, man. Don't be for the nigga you signed to. Don't be like beef. me. I ain't signed to nobody, nigga. <laughs> I all, right, no wait, wait, all right, nigga, I heard you the first time. Okay, all, right. all right, so listen, him is performing at Highline Ballroom along with uh Donnell Rollins, Ashley Larry, uh this Monday, January twenty second, uh at my residency, right? So there is a him, and I did try to book her. So that there is a him and there's a her. I was re- recently introduced to they. I played they on this podcast. 
I don't listen to what you play. <laughs> no, clearly you do very well. Yeah, I was about to say, what was so the example of what just happened? So let's live in the happened? moment. When one door closes, another opens. So fire. let's live in the moment. It's another hook that if I said, you niggas would fucking kill me. Now you want to come in here. This is Sleeper, y'all. Y'all missed this one. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Craig. And I like Craig. Uh, what what <laughs> aid record did you play? It was, a lo- it was a long, long time ago. I'd have to look back. Off this project? Because this project came out in 2017 recently. And this 75% of this shit is fire yeah. emojis. This shit is hard. If you are into the current sound of fucking uh, R&B that engineers really rule. <laughs> <laughs> engineers don't get their fucking credit in the streets. Uh, wait, so, and Trap Bobby Brown is in this group. I didn't know that there was a Trap Bobby Brown. Oh, God. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Uh, So this is a group called They, off of their project New Religion, Hyena, and this song is called Africa. (laughs) I played uh, Back Around off this project. Oh, okay. They talking they shit. I love Back Around. Back Around is super hard. Yeah. Uh, Pause. I might role play as these niggas. I know I won't forget, but... Um, <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. This is Africa from day, y'all. And I would like to dedicate this album and every other note that I play to him. Okay. Yeah, brother, you know what I'm Shitty or broken dreams Take a nigga wallet Money stack up to the ceiling Shitty or double D Never trip about it Stack up to the ceiling Money's a devil, they tell him, but they only tell him Cause they never felt what it feels to be honest I got no motherfucking bitches Check my cerebellum, I can tell them Go out your candles and puff on your cannabis Wishing for what you can handle, it's never been worth I got no motherfucking bitches Check my cerebellum, I can tell them Money, money, money's all that that nigga deserve That was Africa from they, T-H-E-Y, period, if you're searching. Um, I'm sure a lot of shit will come up with they. And all I ever wanted to say in every one of my songs was, y'all niggas ain't got no motherfucking bitches. That is the most important factor when it comes to profiling men. Do these niggas got bitches? <laughs> like, no? Well, then why am I listening? <laughs> y'all men are so fucking trivial. Uh... All right, who's getting the aux for Mall Sleeper? Mall, Rory. No, because Ice had to uh, give me the piece. Ah, Ice. 
So oh, you know he role plays as the genius bar guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all the little funky gadgets. Uh this uh this record was actually sent to me by somebody on Instagram. I forgot who it was. But it uh it surprised me because I definitely wasn't expecting it to sound like this, but this dude's name is Floater. I believe he's from Florida, so I believe that's like the way you say Florida if you're from Florida. Floater, I guess. I don't know. But the name of the song is called Wheat. All right. Oh, this is that new shit right here. This is silent shit. <laughs> mix is crazy. Oh, it's that new quiet mix. Mix is crazy. <laughs> Waste it. Uh-uh. Potential. This is a side on exclusive. Sate exclusive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is one of the first songs that chicks love that they didn't know the words to. <laughs> it's true. Put a little elbow grease in my time. My crib got a centerpiece of my wife. More props oh, yeah, been credited with my lime. Okay. Like so eloquent with them rhymes. Young man, way less vulgar. My vernacular is everywhere. You can say it's broken. Yeah, my flavor, coast to coast, is often stolen. You can even say the sauce is global. I don't need you, homie. Uh-uh. I don't need no homies. That lie in my name. You can leave me lonely. I'm a dream chaser, nigga. You ain't seen this rolling. You niggas fresh out the dryer. I can see you folding uh-huh. that. Heat too close. That beat's supposed oh, to loop. Yeah. Interstellar beastie boys oh, with hooks. Yeah. My list is levels. Cross them out and boost. Peanut butter. The trays when I was booked ain't easy with the pain that I was living. Niggas don't be focused on some booth. See that game that I'm forever, ever spilling. Niggas had to clean the whole booth, but move on out them. Wait for outings, what move come out them? It's gonna last for hours. Y'all used to out them. Jam surround sound and move around them. Nothing new about them. Y'all neglect the talent, then accept the habits. Really lack more than sense. My yeah, team yeah, had yeah, reflected yeah. absence. We all went ghosts on those who wasn't really trying to win, and that's dead the truth. Y'all like their for I stop you before you can even begin and watch that as that. And what's done is done. Some niggas never really buy you when you're reaching the end, and that's why they get. I want him to turn all the vocals up on this record. <laughs> Parks needs to mix this. Yeah. For old heads, really, you can keep the youth. If you niggas want problems, I can speak to you. I'm hey. the bomb, no. I defeat the fuse. Perfect one, no. See, they quick to shoot. Uh-uh. I'm on papers. I don't even need that pressure. Oh. Like flow, be the bigger man, bro, be better, but I ain't. I don't even know these niggas. When I was locked up, shit, I started quoting scriptures. Food size my family, so I cleared it on yeah. them. Writing with me, then I did it for them. Yeah. House arrest, I'm thinking, so I slid with for them. Yeah. Y'all don't know my meaning, I don't feel you more. Cause uh-huh. I'm a godly person. I smite, I wipe, and anything trying to block me. I go for body shots. I size, I fight. Niggas had a nerve to say that I'm cocky, but bitch, I'm real, and that shit be nothing less. So I keep throwing beats, y'all got nothing left. I'm on a hundred. Any motherfucker can run it. So when your ass eating concrete, don't ask for help. It's the age of the old soul. Go glow. I get paid rapping at home. Go flow. In my bring my life a whole show. Go pro. Switch lanes in my two seat. Your photo can't keep up. Keep up my juice. Coming sealed in a crystal beaker. In the room face to face. And you hold on speaker. We are not one the same. We are not no equals. I'm far from secret. I'm a lot more lethal and a lot more deadly. Yeah. This might hear my weapon. Every track get messy. Yeah. And I'm far from friendly. I'm a lot less peaceful. So I thirst your vengeance. I supply your refill, nigga. That's Flow the Week. I was actually surprised. That was a good record. I like that. It is a good record. <clears throat> when he turned all the vocals up, niggas gonna fuck with that. I like that record. Ice, do you have a sleeper? Yeah, I got one. You're not the nigga that I want to end my podcast with a sleeper, but don't play no trap shit, nigga. I don't know if that chord's gonna reach all the way. Pause. 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 <laughs> See what Ice has in store for us when new Plies record has come out. <laughs> I wish. I know you do. <laughs> um, nah, you know, you know, I always like to do something from Jersey. So this is a, this one. Um, Arsenal's coming. <laughs> new Ars. Funny thing is, he's on the record. Hey, I'll be I'll be out. Ars and uh, Fetty Wap. It's called New Jersey Drive. That's what you playing? Yeah, I like that movie. Say yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey. So yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hard. Gladiator. This is another straight race. Well, I want it all and I can't wait. 
Free my youngin' 50 for that murder case. You know my hood on go, check the murder rate. Hey, time we catch your body, then we celebrate. Then we celebrate, hold up. Uh, bad bitch, you should see her waist. Oh, uh, oh, uh, treat her like a op, shoot her in the face. Oh, uh, oh, uh, hit her with the counter, try to play it safe. Uh, pussy started dripping, had the door wait. Fetty Wap sound hard on what record is that? Oh, there's a Takashi record with Fetty. Mm. He don't sound bad on it either. With the one with the uh, a boogie. Yes. Yeah, I like that record too. That's the best I've heard Fetty sound in in a while. Yeah, I like all three of their verses. Um, on that record. That was it, man. You guys have any? Have you been keeping up with the Kardashians? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they had their baby. <laughs> we didn't talk about it. Which which one of them? Are they all pregnant? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Who had a baby? Uh, Ken. Kim and Kanye surrogate. Kylie's. Kylie is the surrogate. I, for Ken, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, Whatever. wait. What? Oh, wait. I forgot. We're talking to Maul. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, wait a I just tried to hear, understand Maul. what you just said. All right. Kylie is the surrogate to Kim? Well, no. I mean, we don't know. No, we do know. That's not happening. How do we know? No, no. Maul knows. No. Well, Maul. Yeah. Yeah. We knows. don't know. That's, we don't no, know. Maul. No, no, no. Stop. Can you untuck your chain? No. That's a big chain. Thanks. You know, you got a hammer on you? No. You're not just walking around with that chain with no hammer. I am. Your hand's not like that. They are. Niggas don't fight no more. <laughs> they don't. It's dangerous. I can run. They no. can shoot. Mm. Got to tie the shoes. Nah. <laughs> I want to take a picture of that chain. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Damn, I can't take like, a flick. Give me the fucking cord, man. I don't have it, man. Somebody Stop looking at me, man. We get in right. It's an God ISIS pocket. It. No, I was saying you've been keeping oh, up with a uh... fucking genius bar, man. <laughs> so heard you were having a problem with your ox. All right, you we're loving hip hop, uh, Miami. They restoring the feeling. Oh yeah, you and ice wanted to talk about that. So, what do y'all, what do y'all have to say about that? Well, Trina's, I was just... Trina's cousin is wild. <laughs> yes. that's, that's the show, right there. Trina's yeah, that cousin. little kid is out of his mind. He's, I got him at least snuffing three people within the next two weeks. And you know, Tr- Trina been off him since the first episode, so this is nothing new. He's yeah. definitely gonna punch somebody. Last night I was on Instagram and um. <laughs> I saw Kaylin slide down a banister twerking like on the handle, <laughs> on the handrail. I didn't know what was happening. It's getting them likes. And I love Kaylin, so I'm just trying to look for guidance and information from you fellas. If you if is that a new dance? Is that a challenge <laughs> the, that's the going on? The banister dance? No. Is it like a challenge going on? I don't know. I, I don't know. The banister challenge? I saw it, but I, I don't know. What, I don't know. 
<laughs> wait, wait. Okay. What, what, what are y'all saying? No, I <laughs> honestly. I saw Kayla sliding down a banister. You can't twerk down a banister. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, you yeah, can. Yeah, Apparently, can. you can. She, she, yeah, I'll yes. be more than happy to show you. Joe, I don't want to see okay. it. I'm fine. Okay. Please, please, no. But what I will say is, man, in 2018, there's some of you chicks that I, mean, I went on a little rant about. Some of you chicks are really ruining the walkaway vids, man. And now that it's become acceptable in society as like a real thing, y'all should do the walk away vids without us hearing you say, okay, record me walking away. <laughs> oh, whenever you hear, go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go. go. No, that, no, that's not happening. If, if that's the fuck 100% go, it is. Go You're is happening. Go. You're all hearing right. it. Go. All right, y'all, go. And then also when they do all the little circle twists, uh, by like the third one, they dizzy. So yeah. they have to look back and be like, stop. <sighs> gotta love it man yeah it's some of them chicks they haven't quite mastered the like the first step is awkward like i want to see the behind the scenes when the people come out their hotel rooms and and watch <laughs> these some, women walk by and wonder what they're doing yeah, some of them bitches don't be walking nowhere and now that it's really cold out and you're the lobby in your apartment building is super trash you really not trying to do no walk away vid show us that lobby Let's see the whole way. Because <laughs> a nigga going, I'm going to judge everything. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Bitches be putting pictures up to look cute. I be looking at the floor tiling, <laughs> the mold. Y'all are trash. I ain't going to lie. I catch myself doing that a lot. You now. have you, to. You peep, you peep shit in the corner. Hell like, yeah. Yeah, like, <sighs> bitch ain't vacuumed in ages. <laughs> <laughs> That's why most of them do in the hotels. How, how I'm going to go over there and feel sexy? You ain't plugged the vacuum up in why a year. Why do you want to feel sexy? <laughs> that, that, that could be part of your I'm going to my role play. Get, get her to clean. Uh, <laughs> Trick her into I, the role play. Uh, I think I might have played Tony Danza before. A little who's the boss action. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. now nobody wanted to be Tony Nobody played Tony <laughs> oh. Danza. If it's anybody, nobody ever played as Tony Danza. <laughs> Tony Danza don't even play as Tony Danza. <laughs> Y'all shitting on Tony Danza. Y'all ain't no, watch who's the boss? That's not He's what we're a doing. Who's the boss is a, nah, one Scott of the Bale. best Scott fucking. Was, uh, who's the boss is one of the best sitcoms Scott, Scott ever. Scott Bale's head of the class. I thought he was a Oh no, Scott Bell's Charles in Charge. Charles in Charge. Oh, okay, okay. Charles in Charge of my days. All right, that's the mine. end of the Joe Button podcast with Rory and Ball. We'll see y'all next well, wait, week. Wait, what show was we talking about before Charles in Charge? Who's the boss? Tony Danza. Yeah, An- right? Angela played Tony Danza. She ain't got nigga no pussy till like the last season when nobody cared. Uh, that's fucked up. We need vengeance for all the old sitcom people. Al Bundy, Tony Danza. I'm coming for you guys. The Joe Button Podcast. Make sure you subscribe. Don't know what that means, but I hear all the cool YouTubers say it. So <laughs> go do that. Hit the they always try to make it sound snazzy. Hit the little subscribe button right there under the <laughs> They're trying to point somewhere around this frame. Yeah, they got graphics that point to hit the subscribe right underneath. And make sure you tune it back next week. Hey, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> anyway, we are out of here. That's the Joe Button Podcast. Make sure you hit subscribe. No, no job button. No, no, no worry. <laughs> <laughs> Man, disrespectful to y'all drive. Hold on, that's crazy. No, we can end right. Hey, what's happening? What the fuck is this music playing? Where's this music coming from? Oh, this fucking record. All right, cool. Here we go. We're leaving now. Bye. Uh, oh. Well, we oh, whatever. It's not that important. <laughs>